Oh, there we go. I was gonna, I was gonna blow a, a gasket, a tisk and a tasket. Oh right, here we were. The Messiah. Well, I mean, I'm not saying it. I'm not saying I am, but, I mean, if the game is saying I'm that good of a player. Okay. Who am I to say Bethesda doesn't know? Okay. Back in here. Cloning lab. We never really read this. Let's do it. Oh, and also let's give ourselves the perks. No, I can't do that until I'm out of the vault. Okay, I'll try to remember it then. Also, hi everyone. Welcome to this uh this fallout. Hi. Um I didn't really give myself an opener this time because I forgot. It's talking like about a jou or something. Uh corrupt de corruption detected, attempt partial recovery. MPT. Number 53. Gary 30... F fuck. <laughs> Gary 53 is hostile toward all non-clones. As was dash dot E class with... Oh, these are... Oh, the corruption. As was blank case with the previous 52 attempts. Okay, so Gary 53 was also hostile. Oh, to non-Garys. <laughs> we may have to consider a means... Of disposal of the Prelixton Gary clo clones? Pre existing Gary clones. As observation rooms are getting quite full of <laughs> Gary's. Attempt. Oh, it was attempt, was the word. Attempt number 54. Gary 54 exhibits no change in hostility toward non clones. If anything, he is even more hostile. Dr. Peterson? We'll see who cancels who, woke moralists, uh, can at least, can attest to this, having been injured while examining Gary 54. If anything, he's even more hostile, because Peterson, well, people are usually hostile to him. Tomorrow, we are going to dispose of several of the Gary clones, which will leave room for many more attempts and salvage data record. And scribe Jameson's report to Elder Lyons. From scri scrib Elizabeth Jameson to Elder Lyons. Elder, I have read that the recent reports on the number of paladins and knights that have not reported in when expected. Right, she's the one who takes in the tags. I understand the chaotic nature of situations in the field, but tradition d demands... That each brother who falls in battle have their death recorded in the scrolls. To put forward our best effort to recover proof of who has fallen and who has lived is unthinkable. To not put forward the best effort is unthinkable. Yep. I understand that every brother is needed for the efforts here in the cita here at the citadel and in the city nearby. To the end to that end, I intend to contact contract Oh yeah, me. I intend to contract with outsiders in order to recover proof of which of our brethren have fallen to the enemy. I'll ask that they recover dog tags from any fallen brother that the f that the find. <laughs> any fallen brother that okay, this was a draft that the find. Uh it is the least we can do without the resources for a full and honorable funeral for them. You needn't worry about providing rewards for those contractors. I will pay them from my personal funds. It w is worth, well worth it to me to be able to both keep the tradition and not stress the resources of your, your mission. In your steel. I thought I said in your stool. <laughs> Yours in steel. Uh, Elizabeth uh, Jameson. Head librarian. Order of the Quill. DC Bunker. Okay. I like how deter how happy she is to give her money for these tags, considering how there's like a money making thing thing people know about where they encourage to bring in tags. Like all I'm saying is the outsider contractor is is like encouraged to kill Brotherhood people then to get dog tags. Hi, Walmata. Oh my God, you're back! You got my message and actually came back. Yeah, I I, I tuned to the radio. You know me. I always listen to the radio. Came as soon as I heard you were in trouble. Mm. Free of wall. <laughs> Thank you, Dripples. Last night, Dripples <laughs> made a reference to 
Wall Amata. I think that was you. Uh, I came as soon as I heard you were in trouble. Uh, just having a real neighborhood. Don't flatter yourself, Amana. Can we hurry up? No, um, came as- I, I came. Oh, thank you! Everything's gone crazy since you left, and now that you're back, thank you, you can help set things straight. You saved my life back then, Amada. The least I could do is help you out now. I may have left, but this is still where I grew up. I can't leave it in the chaos. Let's not be hasty. I need to know more before I make any decisions. Now I'm gonna... You saved my life, Amada. I just wish we could have saved more people. Okay, that's Jonas going in my voice and acting. And uh, and so real. Many others died that night. It was bad enough they died because my father was trying to keep the door closed. But then I found out it was all to protect a lie. I what? found out the vault wasn't always closed. They've lied to us about it for our entire lives. Oh yeah, I wasn't born in the vault. For example. What? How'd you find that out? After that night, I heard Wally's father say we should never have taken you or your dad into the vault. Oh. I found out the vault used to be open, but for some reason, they closed it off when we were babies and swore to hide that it had ever happened. But keeping that lie meant Jonas's death. They swore at babies? And even though we know the truth, the overseer still won't let us make our own decisions. So like... Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> sounds like he's gone crazy with power and needs to be stopped. <coughs> Sorry that I just said bug snacks really quickly the first time. Um, so why don't you just leave? It's not difficult, especially now. Some of you have been hopping, have been hoping to go outside. That's pretty crazy too. Actually, this is my dad's fault for leaving. He started this whole mess. <laughs> Yeah, he's gone crazy with power. It needs to be stopped. I'll say, why don't you just leave? It's not that simple. Just because Butch wants to leave this place behind doesn't mean the rest of us want to go away forever. It's our home, and we want to stay here. TikTok is our like, home. Since you left, we started thinking maybe the outside wasn't something to be afraid of. But we can't even suggest going outside to communicate or trade at all. Not with the overseer keeping us trapped down here. You I gotta need say, to stop I've, him. I enjoy the, the pleasures of trading in this game. I I too desire to trade. I do desire a trad wife. Uh why is the overseer doing this? I think I have a solution to the vault's problems. <laughs> what happened that night? The real problems came after you two left. The injured had nobody to turn to since our doctor had run off and his assistant had died. Now, Damn. we've got to rely on that old Mr. Handy for most of our medical needs. Don't he rely on Mr. Handy. The best Relatable. Manner. Ever had an examination from someone with cold metal pincers? You don't want to. Oh my. Aren't you just leave? There's not much security. Don't you get it? We don't want to abandon hmm. the vault. We want to open it. We still want this to be our home, but we want to get supplies from outside. Trading, exploring, They're literally describing better than just hiding down here. The Fallout mobile game, the Vault Dweller one. What's that one called? I'm sure someone in the chat knows. The mobile game that's also like on the PS4. And so if you have a PS4 subscription, a PS Plus subscription, a Fallout Shelter, that's right, Dripples. Um, you can like <laughs> get some like in-game points for free. In quotes, because you're, I mean, you are doing a prescription, a subscription to PlayStation Plus, but it's one of those like free DLC things for paying money. They'll be like, hey, here's, here's 20 Fallout bucks. Um, why is the overseer doing this? I just don't know. How's your Maybe papa? He thinks he's protecting us, but all he's really doing is condemning us. <laughs> free, freemium. Want a better world for their children. Well, there's a new world waiting right outside the door. premium. And we're not going to give up until we can reach it. I think I have a solution for the vault's troubles. I certainly Shh. hope so. We can't keep going on like this. I swear, I'll stop your father and his guards. Just watch. I need to understand the dangers outside and why you sh I need- You need to understand the dangers outside and why you should stay here. Yeah, I'll, I'll stop your papa. You will? Thank goodness. A macho guy like that? No matter what I say, he just doesn't They listen. hang low. He just spends all day up in his office. 
but you've okay. actually been outside, so you can tell him what it's like with first-hand experience. Yeah, I can Just give him his first hand. Don't do anything rash or hurt him, all right? Okay, I, I promise I won't give him a rash when I tell him about my first-hand experience. Um, you know, violence is my style motto. Oh God, I shouldn't. Don't let her see my the loading screen kill counts. Sorry, I'm not promising anything. Don't hurt him. Are you crazy? He tried to kill you. Still owe him a lot for that night. Don't expect to see him again. I, I still owe. Okay, I owe him a, a wall, a whooping. I should have remembered. I was just worried. So nonviolent. Oh, maybe your time outside had changed you. Thanks, and good luck talking to him. Well, I've explored every nook and cranny of the mind. DC area. I've killed every single thing in my path, but. I hope you're making progress with my father. I oh, this is like the triggered event. Who would convince him we should venture outside? This would have been the triggered event that caused Walamata. Like if I was on the other side. Yeah, that's what happened. I think I have solution. I hope okay. Let me give him a Mr. Handy. Hey, watch it. Just take the few medical supplies you have, okay. Yep, I mean, you all owe me it. She, she looks like she's being hung at Nipton. You've got to change the overseer's I did say hung, not hanged. Oh, it's good to see you're back from outside. It can be dangerous out there for someone your age. Is this is this because I've given myself like 50 perks? Like, why is she looking down there? What? What is she implying? What, what, what does she have to see down there? T to tell me about the rebels. Oh dear, we aren't asking for anything special. The vault's been open before, but for some reason everyone tries to pretend it wasn't. I guess they try to forget the poor souls who never came back from out there. What happened down here? My poor grandson Jonas died is what happened. They My name is Jonas. An accident and all the confusion, but I know it was the carrying overseer. the wind. I don't know. Thanks for all you've shown us. Please be careful. This is how you've been. How I've been. Pour yourself some tea. Oh. Oh my goodness. Mm. Another patient. Hi, Andy. What's it to be, eh? <laughs> the slow to rotate. Me. Oh. I'm sure you could do all those at once. Choo-choo train left right on time. And you know what else. Um. <laughs> everyone loves Weezer here. So what's your take on this whole situation, Mr. Robot? Ah, uh, human problems for human hearts. I don't trouble myself with uh, human hearts so affairs. easy to prove failure. Work is my life. And as you can see, I've been quite busy. Andy, what happened? All this blood. Ah, yes, a rather unfortunate incident. In all the commotion, Miss Beatrice suffered a rather bad sprain in her left toe. The mm. big one. Obviously, I had no choice but to amputate. The leg. Yeah, I'm sorry to say the operation was uh, not a uh, success. Oh. Wait, they made you a doctor? But of course! With your but of course! Departure from the vault, but of course! Jonas's untimely demise, the overseer had to take swift action. <laughs> and so he named me the new vault medical practitioner. A marvelous decision, if I do say so myself. I am fully equipped, after all. I make sure all ladies know I'm fully equipped. If you're the new doc, can you heal me? Um, actually, uh, no. <laughs> it sounded like the spy. I'm afraid I've been, uh, what's the human term? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, fired. I've been reassigned to cleaning detail. Your mother. My first duty is... Somewhat ironically, cleaning the clinic. Oh, but surgery was fun while it lasted. <laughs> yeah, it is fun while it lasted, Andy. Of course, of course. Don't let we all get to chop up at least one lady. And you know what? You gotta enjoy the one you get. 
Anywho, um, <laughs> uh, poor Beatrice, I'll, I'll let her have her dignity. She, she went out horribly. Hey, check this out. It's the last, uh, schematic. I think it's the rocket launcher. Fuck. Butchered Pete. <laughs> Butchered Pete, yeah. Home sweet home and 300 caps. Aww. It's behind the the Bible verse that everyone pogs off about in this game. Look at how high quality. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain, of the water of life freely. One, two, three ofs. Okay. Revelations 21.6. <laughs> Butchered B, <laughs> B, right? B trice. Butcher Beat, aka Butchered Beatrice. Well done, you found it, Triples. Home, sweet home on the. Well, here we are. Nestled, all safe and snug inside of Old 101. It's so cold down here. Colder still with Catherine gone. Oh, Catherine. I so wish you were here with me. How the hell am I supposed to do this by myself? Live down in this hole. Take care of our child. But this is our life now. So I guess I'd better get used to it. The overseer who runs the place is an overbearing bully. But I've dealt with worse. Home sweet home. Patient files. Freddy Gomez. Freddy's VDS. Remember, <laughs> the files are confidential. Just resting on the floor. Uh, is getting worse. Most days, he can't even get out of bed. When he does manage to function, Freddy hides his insecurities and low self-esteem behind a bully's mask. While tech medical protocols dictate the prescription of anti-anxiety medication when Vault Depressive Syndrome, VDS, is involved. But do I really want to s string the kid out on uh, Chlor... Pro... Mazine, Chlorpromazan, no, ch Chlor, <laughs> eat that word for the rest of his life. I think I've read these already last time. Stanley, Stanley continues to suffer from severe and chronic head pain. I've been feeding him aspirin like it's candy. Oh no, but I'm. Um, Freddy getting schlorped. <coughs> uh, I'm reticent to give him anything stronger. Or I guess reluctant, I guess, but um, do I know that word? Hold on. Reticent. Red isn't? Okay. Not revealing one's thoughts or feelings readily. Red isn't. Okay. I don't know if I've heard that word before, but I'm reticent to give him anything stronger. He blames the lighting in his quarters, and though eye strain is certainly a compounding the problem, the headaches are actually a symptom of overwork and lack of sleep. Knowing Stanley, the scheduled overseer has him on, the problem isn't likely to get better anytime soon. So it's aspirin indefinitely. Amata. Once again, the overseer has insisted on being in the room for Amata's examination. Ex examination, throwing any inkling of doctor-patient confidentially right out the window. I honestly, I know he doesn't trust me. Uh, he never has, but I honestly believe the reason he attends his daughter's medical appointments is because he doesn't trust her. That's as ridiculous as it is sad. Amata's a great girl. And the chance of her doing something stupid, pregnancy, syphilis, whatever, is so unlikely it's not even worth mentioning. Jeez. Lovely new words. That's right, triples. Ex experimentes. Experiment 27C3 is E. Cells are still replicating normally. No mutation. Thank God if whatever is out there could penetrate this vault. 
I can't begin to imagine what the overseer would do. Experiment PP Raccoon Pizza Party, uh, two one six. After borrowing a few more water chips and rerouting some of the power here in clinic in the clinic, I finally, I've finally been able to affect the latest exam latest example latest sample. It's not much, but considering what I have to work with, it. it what? But considering what I have to work with, it, comma, a definite step in the right direction. It's not much, a definite right, okay. Um, but this new experiment was also momental, monumental for another reason. It's the first time Jonas has assisted me. Okay, well this is definitely an older uh, entry. He suspected forever, I... He's suspected forever, I know, so I guess it was inevitable. And his help has been invaluable. I hope he knows what- what is wrong with me tonight? I hope he knows what he's gotten himself into. What is going on tonight? I- <laughs> That was like two paragraphs and it took me way longer than normal. I am- I feel like it's the font. It can't be just me. <sighs> I know that was painful. I give you permission. That when you get a two times speed permission. Whoever the overseer is. Man, I sure wish we could blow this joint. Got blocked off. Okay, careful, Butch. Careful what you wish for. Huya. Peggy Hill. Oh yeah. Okay, I know where we are. I know there's like a jail cell that's near here. I think Jonas should be in here. I'm not if they still kept Jonas where he was last time. Three more. Three more. Pre paramore. Vault suits and five bobby pins. Wow, it's like they reset the loot here. Oh, an overseer key. Fuck yeah. It's everything I could ever want. Oh. It's very easy. Sure. <laughs> it's a waste. Just in case I needed to like open the, the tunnel or whatever. Tunnel of love. Let's see who's in the uh, slammer first. Slammer. I hardly know where that's going. I think I was here last time I played. The lighting in here is pretty cool. You don't, you don't get lighting like this usually in the game. I guess that's the, you know, the first level effect. Where they really gave a lot to this part. To be fair, it's like the only part of the game that's still like, uh, you know, uh, habited. How many other parts have like access to colored lights, I guess? I don't Colored lights, like in a, uh, I guess they're colored lights are a, um, a luxury. Whoa, what did I take? I took like five things. Okay. Cool. Who, who's there? Oh, what happened? Confidential. 
Top level security only. Chief officer subject raid on rebels. Uh oh. In light of increased aggression agitation from the rebel elements, I have come to the conclusion that we can no longer afford to be merciful to this scum. Chief officer, whoever that is. While some may hold out for hope, hold out hope for a peaceful resolution. It's only a matter of time before they decide to take the fight to us. Or worse yet, our families. I propose a midnight raid on their compound. Live ammo, zero tolerance. Make an example of the first two who fight back and the rest will fall in line. We may lose a kid or two, but we'll save the vault as a whole. And that's what counts. Oh my god. You are not to inform the overseer and some of our softer security guards about this plan as they will only object and ensure our defeat. Once the deal's done, they'll see it was worth the price. This will show those scum what happens when you step out of line in our vault. Terrible. Oh, and I, I got that note added. Is it happening at midnight midnight? Amada, again. Like, midnight midnight? Wait, let's... Okay, I'm pretty sure I quick saved, just to be safe. Oh, that's just typical squint. That's what he usually talks about. That whole... That whole entry we just saw. Oh, Mr. Brock, the teacher. It's been a while, kid. I guess the goat couldn't have predicted how you'd turn out, could it? Hmm. Remind me to add a question about rescuing your teacher from the vault jail. Aww. If the vault ever goes back to normal, that is. Hmm. By the way, while I was in there, I heard some worrying things from the guards. Hmm. What'd you hear from the guards? I heard one of the guards talking about some sort of plan to raid Amada and the rest of us. I didn't hear anything else, but I think he read it on the security terminal. So maybe you can find more there. I'm sure it's bad news for us all. Tell me about the rebels. Most of them are just kids who are caught up in the idea of seeing the world. <gasps> it's movable. No, we've got to actually open the vault if we want to survive. Otherwise, we're just going Hello, to Himbo. dwindle away down here until it's all too late. So good to hear from you. What happened down here? <laughs> the same three questions. Same two questions. Was pretty rough, I'll tell you. I know a lot of folks blame your dad, <laughs> but I know he didn't mean to cause all that. Don't blame him or yourself. I do appreciate you pacing yourself on the rhino increasing. <laughs> I counted there's eight rhinos there, afraid to take on Caesar's Legion. I don't think Caesar's Legion could put up a fight against eight rhinos. I'm not, not even like doubting that at all. <laughs> that is confident. Watch yourself down here. I've seen what they're capable of, and it's really not much when, when, when one courier goes waltzing along. I I can believe four, eight hippos can do the job of one hi courier. Hi. Well, I see you've returned. Done with the dust mm. and ruins of the wasteland, are you? Given up looking for daddy? Thought you could just slink back in like a teen missing curfew? Well, that's too bad. You have no future in this vault. You're tainted. You're taint. Tainted? <laughs> I mean... Ask... Get some... <laughs> you know the phrase. <laughs> get someone some dinner first. Um... Yes, sir. <laughs> Mr. Courier, sir. Glory to the Mojave Express. Aww. <laughs> Won't go quietly, the Legion can count on that. <laughs> wow. I'm so proud of the hippo army we've cultivated in the chat. Tainted? My taint? You're the crazy bastard who murdered Jonas! Through leadership, no one in the vault has much of a future. What if the evil banter? I'm just curious about your side of all this. Really? Really? And here I had expected you to be full of bullets and bravado, but short on brains. Perhaps you've grown up since you left our vault. I regret the unfortunate events of that night, but I'm afraid that once your father left us, they were unavoidable. The sad truth is 
that his actions presented a real and direct threat to the future success of our vault. And so, regrettably, they had to be opposed. You know, Maple likes those Fallout videos for that one guy. The editing in those videos are pretty dang good. I think he would agree with me too about the hippo thing. Big Beak Entertainment, yeah. I wait for the next one. When will it be and what will it be about? Oh, you should, she can watch it every day. I, I think they're really fun too. Uh, don't try to justify your murders and lies. They were never threats. What do you mean by the vault future success? <laughs> yeah, let's... <laughs> oh no. You have any idea why my father left the vault in the first place? I've spent many nights asking myself exactly that. He certainly didn't tell me before he left. Hmm. I blame myself, really. I should really? have known better than to let him enter our home in the first place. Oh. He certainly showed his true colors in the end. It's not where I expected him to go. Were he raised in the cleanliness of our vault, <laughs> perhaps your father would have shown more dedication to the important things in life. Imagine a raccoon Just growing as well up cleanly. That he left. We mustn't let humanity's last pure Impossible. specimens be sullied with his type. He's filthy. <laughs> this my father didn't hide from the outside his whole dang life. Yeah, he was an asshole, all right. We're all better off with... Uh, no. Uh, that one does have the word asshole on it, though. Which we can all get behind. Uh, father. No, but he didn't risk bringing you out <laughs> into it. Uh, either. father. You have to wonder... Is that why he left you behind? He wanted to know you were someplace safe? And then, like a fool, fool. he squandered the greatest April fool. Troubles are set because you lied to them about the outside. I believe I have the solution to the vault's problem. You know, I just don't care anymore. <laughs> Let me leave and I'll never come back. Um, I... I'll... I have to go now. Yes, you do. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's a yes you doer too. Okay, this is a good quick save. What do you want? What do you want? Got ourselves a wise guy. Uh. Yeah, rebel. They have to Dale understand rebel. that we did that to keep them from going outside and getting killed. To keep them from making the same mistake our like generation did movements. when we were their age. <laughs> Some of us already lost loved ones out there long ago. We won't lose it's very rare today. but you'll you'll notice them okay well i believe i have a solution to fix what you started go ahead and humor me what stops the rebels no the rebels are right you need to open the vault still owe you for jonas i shut up and die you son of a bee you son of a biatch um vault open oh do you what makes you think you know how better to protect this vault <laughs> My 100% speech tells me uh, you simply don't have enough people to stay isolated down here forever. Y you need to open up the pool, you know, you need to <laughs> add some diversity. I admit, in the 200 years since the war, our numbers Make have baby. a little. <laughs> That's right, Maple. We have enough genetic diversity for Maple volunteers. She has a tribute. My she needs God, to help repopulate. Right. We won't last another 100 years, whether or not we get supplies from the outside. We're the last bastion of pure humanity, and we're doomed. Mm -hmm. Humanity isn't about pure... <laughs> it's never about giving up hope. Even It's about never giving up hope, even now. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could share your optimism, <laughs> but I suppose you have a point in your blathering. And you way. have a high skill. My way will save check. our vault's mission, but if I let them contact the outside world... I might be able to save its inhabitants. Wow. But I'm not the one to lead them in that. I'm stepping down as overseer. He is waxing I'll philosophical. Tell model, but I can think of no more appropriate leader than she. Wow. <gasps> wow, and he's gone. Okay. And the vault's troubles. Okay, easy task. Stop the overseer. Talk to Amato. Batten down the hatch hatches. Uh, view external contract report. Vault currently received an unexpected radio contact. Contact. Oh. Over the governmental Vault Tech frequency. Oh, from the organization calling itself the Enclave. Governmental codes are valid according to the Vault's ancient records. 
and the Enclave put forth an offer of amnesty and unity with the official remnants of the American government in exchange for access to the vault and its data stores. They claim that our vault's passwords no longer match their records, preventing them from expanding their offer, extending their offer in person. Oh, okay, right, it's a motto, by the way. <laughs> I should let them know. After brief negotiation, I have refused entrance to this enclave. I cannot trust my vault and its inhabitants to an unknown factor, uh, faction? Factor? <laughs> Much less one that could so gallantly suggest abandoning our vault's great mission. All the more reason to prevent the rebels from opening the vault like, uh, to the likes of them. Right. Right, the vault's mission was like, I think the, the gravelly guy at the start says, the, the vault dwellers close vault forever. Uh, view security dossier, dossiers? Dossiers, rebels. Uh, an alliance of rebels has formed in my vault dedicated to the holy destruction goal of re the holy destructive goal of reopening the vault to the outside world. Mata and Edwin Broach, Mr. Broach, uh, the teacher, are the leaders of the band, with those ridiculous tunnel snakes making up its muscle. Wow, they're that effective, along with a handful of other youths and naive naive idealists. Attempts to isolate and demoralize the group are preceding a space. Edwin Broach has been jailed for his attempt to lead a direct attempt to open the vault's doors, door, and their leaders have holed up in the old clinic and schoolhouse. Their dwindling food and proximity to the dangerous Miss Dr. Andy are sure to drain the morale from their rebellion until they give up on and are welcomed back into our happy family again. Amada. It pains me to dearly... <laughs> pains me dearly to know that Amada is behind the rebellious element in my vault. If she weren't their leader, it would have been a simple matter to break their spirits and bring them back to in line, which the vault's time proven isolation... with the vault's time proven isolation plan. Oh my god. I need a drink. <laughs> um, I actually need to get a drink, so I might pop off for a sec to you know, just I'll just hop off for a sec to uh get us get drank. Uh but with her as a central figure in their rebellion, I must refrain from my more persuasive tactics at security's disposal. Hmm. We <laughs> get guns. I will be I will not repeat the mistakes of that night again. The vault cannot afford it, and I cannot bear to drive my daughter further away from me. Despite everything, I take great pride in her natural talent for leadership. When she inevitably comes around, I feel she will make a worthy successor in uh, to the position of overseer. Well, <laughs> she, I guess that's right. Scanner reports. Yeah, I've, I've uh, seen this already. Yep. It's mega ton. I was like episode one. Alta constructions. <laughs> Doctor from Braun. Uh huh. Congratulations, Vault. Wow. Talk about the Gek. Sure, I'll open my overseer's tunnel. Don't you know enough to stay away? Yes, you do. Alrighty then. <clears throat> that sure was something. So I had to open this little cubby. Oh. All these naked people. I must have been <laughs> by here. My influence rubbed off. Hey, Taylor. Go ahead and start something. I dare you.
I dare you, hit me. What? Is this Taylor? Oh, it's just the overseer. <laughs> I, he was running. I feel like he's going to Amada, so just follow him and it'll be okay. Yep. Yeah. You did it. Amata, everyone, listen closely. After a discussion with your friend, I've made an important decision. In my attempts to keep <laughs> us all safe, I have been why perhaps why are they all cowering? Sense. Lives have been lost. I've been phallic. But perhaps worse than that, lives have been I'm gonna stopped. get a And in my attempts to keep you safe, I have kept you from growing up. I know I have made these mistakes, and I would make them again if I had to do so. That is why I cannot remain your overseer. Father! Amata? I appoint you overseer Father. in my place. You've proven you have what it takes to make hard choices. A wireless earbud in, so vaults. I was listening to it the whole I'm time. I'm just sorry I didn't understand that earlier. Consider it one of many mistakes. I may I've have made. gotten a monster energy. Thank you, Father. I'll do my best to keep us all safe inside the vault and beyond. You're welcome, my dear. And now, if you're I'm watching me, you, I feel quite worn down. We'll deal with the details soon, in private. Until then, I'm sure there are people waiting to congratulate you. You- I- I just heard. My father says he's stepping down as overseer. He won't tell me why, but I have to assume it's something you said to him. This I'll talk with him and explain a few things. All quite civil. We both care about the vault's residents, but in different ways. He didn't even realize how wrong he was. What a rube. If I set him straight. Civil. You and him? Civil? I expected Sybil. you to change out in the wasteland, but not that much. Huh. But I guess we'll all be learning a bit about the outside now, won't we? As karma dump, karma here, dump. I'm planning More on karma. opening the vault. This Whoa. time for good. Hell yeah. It's a bright new day for the vault, but I'm afraid there's one thing that has to change. <laughs> you have to die. <laughs> but it is... Whatever it is, I'm glad to help. I'm really around those. I know you are, and on behalf of the vault, uh -huh, I Star Wars reference. For all you've done, but there are still many who blame you for everything that happened. So I have to ask you to leave. Oh, I'm sorry, really? But the situation That's funny. Is just too delicate for you to stay. Amada, what the fuck? Please, if you really want to help the vault, you have to go. It's fine, you guys got nothing here. I understand. Say the vault and now you kicked me out. <laughs> I, you know, I, okay, fine. I'll. You have to leave. Uh, yeah, you do. <laughs> okay, I, I'll walk away with my tail tucked between my legs. I just saying goodbye, Mata. We can never really thank you enough for everything you've done. It's not much, but take this with you to remember us. Bob. I really am a sorry It'll cop in Disco Elysium after all. Ready to go outside, but once the vault is stable again. Maybe we'll see you out there. So, when I see you I again, bye for now. But with luck, we'll can I again. get a smooch? Don't belong here anymore. Good riddance. Get out. <laughs> Goodbye. We'll miss you. Goodbye. We'll miss you. Goodbye. We'll miss you. Oh, back again. <laughs> Nothing else. Okay. I just want to see if everyone has this goodbye, we'll miss you dialogue, it's so goofy. Or will they have like, goodbye, good riddance? Goodbye. <laughs> we'll miss you. <laughs> goodbye, we'll miss you. Is it like Undertale? Is this... <laughs> it's a shame you gotta go, but you'll well. do okay out there, I'm sure. Hmm. Shit. Oh, I know what to do, okay. I'm going to save here and call it a stream. Good night. No, um. So normally you can you can like get Butch on your side to be your friend or something. I want to talk with him just before this stuff happens to see if this if I can influence hey, him. What's the word?
I'll start again. Hey. Bet your mole rat chow before you make it out. Uh, make it one day out there. Yeah. Well, get us out of here and we'll see, won't we? Hey. I want another tower. I bet you're your mole rat chow before you make it one day out of here there Fuck. <laughs> you have no idea how many gangs of idiot raiders are out there well they ain't seen nothing like me yet butcher's gonna take that wasteland by storm haircut <laughs> uh should i help you butch damn that out what'd you do that for oh yeah okay It's a shame you gotta go, but you'll do okay out there, I'm sure. Leave the vault forever. I survived the night. It's good to see you again. I get the feeling there's change in the air. Don't know if it's good or bad. Well, whatever. I believe you've run into him in the wasteland. Okay. Thanks, Punk Chef. I never really found out how to be his friend. Good riddance. Get out. <laughs> Hell yeah. Good riddance. Get out. <laughs> yes. Yes. We have the, we will miss you and the fuck off. Good riddance. <laughs> get out. Good riddance. Get out. Oh my god. It's, it's the Undertale genocide run versus the, the, uh, true ending. Oh, great. He's a neutral karma companion. Oh, okay. Is he going to close on me? It is. I had a feeling it was. No! No! I wanna go back. No! Oh. I was supposed to help the gene pool. I was from the outside. Hey, wait a minute. Hey. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. You don't know the password it said? You don't know the new entrance password? It's pretty funny. Oh, dog meat's in the rock. Huh. I guess he's safe there. Sure. Yep. Cool, got a little enclave report. Well, okay, that's one of the two quests I want to do before we, uh, take on the pit. Wow. Okay, cool. Get to side with the ghouls and uh, ruin Tenpenny Tower forever. Ruin's a strong word. It's it's fine. Whatever state it ends up in. The fact that it's a the ghouls do their thing, it's gonna be fine. I'm just gonna go in here though to uh, sell some stuff for the last time, I guess. Still can't believe I got all the music books. What a legendary achievement. Actual gaming legend. I'm, is there a mod that makes this like happen all at once instead of having to wait each hour? I've been curious about that. If there's it's a way to just instantaneously do it. Something delicious. It's not that big of a time wait, machine. but I've always been curious how like actually necessary that is or if it's like baked into the game to uh just be silly. Okay, well, I can't sell stuff to you because you don't have caps, so that's fine. Not the biggest loss. I think a lot of those were from, uh, Talon Boys. Whoa. Okay, this is a lot. Sure, let's just... Make a few perfect ones. Just to get rid of some waste. I'm trying to use up the, like, really low... Yeah, the really low durability ones. Okay, good. 
cool. Got a perfect one of those. Yep. Plus one luck. That's fun. Nice. Oh, if I wore that, I wonder how much buff would it actually give me, like, an invisible repair buff? I don't know. I want to drop that if I can. Looking good. Oh, yeah. Got the rocket launcher schematic to put in my house. I guess the ghouls won't affect the... the one robot. Which is, like, one of the only merchants I use here. Can I get a smoopa? And can you make it last forever? Oh. What? What? What's my? What's this look like right now? Okay, that explains that. Oh damn it! Mouse keys don't work. Wait, maybe they do. For RuneScape, I sometimes use mouse keys, and I think I have mouse keys enabled. So if I press my, uh, the 5 button on my numpad, it would just count as a, a right click. No, a left click. Which is a lot more comfortable than constantly clicking over and over to dramatic-ass Fallout combat music. Just looking around the room. How's your day going, everyone? Are we having a fun stream? I'm having a fun stream. I don't know where you are if you're not having one. Oh, I still have the caps I need to spend. Two perks waiting for me. Music to my ears. The sound of putting on a billion masks. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we're getting close to where we were. Gonna give myself like a few more. Decorating your house in Fallout 4. Nice. Soothing equip noises to fall asleep too. Okay, that's good. Yes! That's what I was missing out on. Haha, <laughs> yes. Doing some Bellatro. A friend of mine has been into that. My friend Cody. Friend in the chat. Frequent chatter, Cody. Cody Blevins. <laughs> giving Cody a fake last name, Ninja's last name. Oh, hi. Is that a skeleton or a, it looks I guess it's a ghoul. Oh hi. Good, I'm glad this is working so well. Wow, those guys are usually a real pain. Got free pencil. The pen is mightier than the sword. Classic. Oh, hi, Tenpenny Tower. It's rare to see something, like, in the horizon. That, like that, that tall. Parkour. No, it's just a skeleton man. It's not a pool. That's just a skeleton man. Hey. Hey, a ghoul. That's a skeleton. Is he gonna wig out when I? No, it does. He didn't. But that's a lot of. A lot of nice missile. Tika missile is in there. Embarrassing update. I have been trying to keep track of my Tika Masala account, a thing that I introduced very early on in my streams. It is a count of how many trans
Trader Joe's tikka masalas I've eaten ever because I only recently found out about them and since I've loved they, they taste amazing they're so delicious they're one of my favorites things to just eat <laughs> you know that thing we do the eating thing um <sighs> oh god I'm dying I'll die before <laughs> and you'll never know what my tikka count was It's 25. We're currently at 25, I'm pretty sure. They're so tasty. I highly recommend that as any, if you're gonna get any frozen food, that's like a good standard to keep. Which is to say, you'll be disappointed by most frozen food if you keep that as your like gold standard. But that's okay. You don't really- you shouldn't be eating much frozen food anyway. Leave it- leave it for the raccoons. Chicken Tika pilled. Yes. You know I am. Tika pilled streaming. Tika pilled. Tika propaganda. Oh! Squint will make you chicken Tika from scratch. I'd love that. I know you're- you got down with some nice cooking today. That was really fun to see. I want more of Mupa's cooking. Let me see what she's making. I did mention Tradwipe earlier in the stream. Don't know. I wonder why that came to mind. <laughs> Me mentioning Tradwife. Uh oh. Oh, that's good. Just a free lockpick. 100%. Where is he? I heard him gargling his Listerine. Oh, there he is. He's got. He's got somewhat of a golem stance to him. Oh. It's okay. It's head banging. Da -da 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 da 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 um, I think it's just like skull-shaped throttles that you would put on your gear shift in your cars. In your cars, the movie too. Um, that are just skull-shaped, and it's just that one guitar rift over and over. That's like from bad to the bone. <laughs> it's just a classic YouTube video that has like, I'm pretty sure it has millions of views. I just don't remember what it's called. Maybe it's called da 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 da. -da. Move it. Move that gear up. Alrighty then. No. That'd be a game we'd all love to watch, right? If it's a game I can play with Maple, then I'll definitely play it. Which is to say, if Maple ever wants to play TF2 and uh, on stream with me, I'd be very happy to. I'm sure nothing terrible will be said in the chat, ever. TF2 is a very safe game to stream. I <laughs> I know it. I just love the, the, the fucking ZXC commands that you can make your characters. <laughs> That's a good reply, Maple. Ah. <laughs> Not replying. <laughs> I plead the fifth. Give you a high five apply <laughs> a kill bind, yes. I only recently did it like I only, I've only done kill binds um within the past like year of knowing how to do them. I think 
or maybe it was within the past like two years maybe but since i've gone back and i've like forgot which key i binded to it so the kill lines are really funny i love them <laughs> it's like what half of the the tf2 content that i come across that's like short form on youtube um if it isn't a, a source filmmaker like edit I was, I was up here already hi it's um it's just like dumb gameplay where you definitely see people just emote and then kill bind <laughs> You know what? I'm, I'm cool. I I know that term and I've known it this whole time and I haven't just been saying kill bind now over and over because it's the first time I've actually like known what the term was for it. Um, <clears throat> you definitely can't get glean that from how much I've used it. <laughs> you ever seen the video of the guy playing Call of Duty and he gives her the headset and she says, <laughs> oh no, oh no. <laughs> Feng Chef distracted me with, with horrible things. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I don't think I've seen that Call of Duty video. I've seen Mom get the camera. I like that one. That one's wholesome. I like, I like when he throws the, the knife and it gets the guy. <laughs> Find the clip and DM it to you. Thanks. <laughs> Sounds very streamable. <laughs> I know you weren't saying that. It was. I know. Okay. You're like, you don't have to... You, you don't want... <laughs> I know. It's okay. I know. I'm here for you if you were. For you, the audience. We'll get through this. Mmm. Smells like gas leak. Don't worry, everyone. I'm getting more oxygen. You need to really get more oxygen when you're searching for things in Fallout 3. You know, I mean, I don't know. I I feel like my brain could use more oxygen, right? I mean, do you hear the things I'm saying on stream? <laughs> I think I think I could benefit from some mouth breathing. You know, I could I could do some namaste as well, at it. Get some yoga in. Get some real breathing going on. Okay, so this is the part place where I'm not supposed to kill everyone now. I think and this is the ghouls that I'm not going to kill on sight, unlike the other ones who apparently. You there. They had a choice. Put your weapons away. Come over here. Put away your guns. Oh, also known as your fists. Unless you want to get shot. A shot. <laughs> Let me, I guess, be extra safe. What the inside of this? What the local map looks like here? It's like actually big down that other tunnel. Oh, it looks like it is. Okay, nothing down here. Except the tunnel. Of Love. Oh, nope. Keep away. Hee <laughs> hee, can't get to me. Oh god, he's... Shit. It's like those, uh... Those backroom videos. I'm prolonging the inevitable. The inevitable will never go to the pit in this episode. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, yes. Got his ass. What are you doing here? It's not safe for your kind around here. I'm here to see Roy Phillips. Oh yeah? Is he expecting you? Well then, run along. It's not wise to keep Roy waiting. Has a bit of a temper, that one. You watch yourself. So what are you doing in the metro tunnels? I've been stomping around with Roy and his gang of misfits. Roy's a no-nonsense, take-no-prisoners kind of guy. He heard about this tenpenny asshole, and now he's trying to get us in that tower. He's hatching some kind of plan to kill all those bigot bastards. <laughs> Believe it or not, I used to vacation there. Eh, cool. So tell me, what's it like being a ghoul? I'm sure it's it has so many benefits. I wasn't always like this. I was a goddamn scientist. We were doing great things. Amazing things. Amazing things. <laughs> sure, sacrifices were required. When does he Some work for the big empty? Hurt, but we were making real progress. But then those goddamn bombs dropped. Karma's a real bitch. You'd be wise to remember that. Gustavo. Oh. No, we did. I. Okay. I have to go now. Good luck. Oh. Diplomatic. I like that. I like that little exchange we had. Said good luck and send me on my way. I'm just robbing blind though. Haha, uh, stole your, uh, clothing iron. How will you have multiple irons on the fire now? <laughs> I like these little potted plants. Oh, there used to be one in there. Now it's just the skeleton of one. Okay. Time to go back in my gamer den. How low? How low can you go? Can you show me? Trying to talk to me again? Keeping an eye on me? Stinky. Forgot how late those were. Criminal. I guess the lighting here is kind of neat. Uh oh. Help. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, comes with the, the job, comes with the territory, being a wastelander. Just getting epic fights in metro tunnels with my laser blaster. Oh, shit. I think I've, I've got this. Oh, wow. Didn't even mean to get that one. Oof. I was speaking such tough shit earlier, then uh, one millisecond later, I got got bodied. Oh, is there like nothing here? Was it just a <laughs> dead sentence? Okay, cool. I don't mind that. I've gotten to the point in the game where I'll, I'll accept it. 
This is like the last place I'm gonna explore in the whole DC area, so I'll I'll cherish it. I'll appreciate the little quirks. How oh, that corner was just a death pit. I can appreciate that, right? Well, I can. I don't know if you can. We too can. Hmm. Oh, there's a big book. Forty caps. Oh. Different metro system? Access and generator. Okay, that seems like a smaller location. Is that like a thing I could sabotage so like mess with the ghouls, I bet? Fuck am I? So much geometry down here for nothing. Cool. Yeah, I could I could bear to lose some karma if I'm being honest. Is that Dean's electronics? Yeah. That was like a hundred and 19 caps or uh, shells. Oh my god. Actually, like using these. Or I like getting them for uh, potential bottle cap mines they'll never make. That I will make someday. Just to prove the haters wrong. As I do uh, constantly on my streams. I prove the haters wrong and I prove the alligators right. Thank you very much. Adjusts Poindexter glasses. Squint, you just make it too easy to be bullied on. with a bang. Oh, true. You're so right. That'll be a, a momentous occasion. I'll play the, uh, if it's copyright, if it's, uh, won't get, like, detected or mess with my, my, uh, you know, if it won't content claim anything, I might play, like, a da -da 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 -da. <laughs> to just set them all off. Yeah, that'd be pretty funny. Gotta eat my science books. Hold on. Hold on to my human flesh. I do ask for that pretty often. For people to hold on to my human flesh. I want to hold on to the pencil for a little longer. I don't want to keep it, but I just hold on to it. Feels I feel like John Wick when I'm holding a pencil. Nice. A lot of that was stolen. Okay, yeah, I was just returning it, you know. It accidentally found its way into my pocket and, uh... Just doing the right thing. Is that a new... Yeah. Oh, it's funny that you can't... Quantums are considered stealing. Oh. I was always curious how karma works with, like, ammo. When you steal things, how much, like... Like, does an ammo count for, like, one unit per piece of ammo? Or is it, like, proportional to cost? I'm sure I could find out on the Wikipedia if I looked hard enough. But, uh, or, yeah, just there, there are a lot of options that they could weigh it that whatever way. Roy Phillips, I wonder who that's supposed to be. Hi. Evening. Evening. I just wanted to see, yeah, okay. Connected all the way back here. Okay, well, I'm definitely taking this route back, but... Only, like, three people in here. 
see if they have anything valuable. Not really. Hey. Hey. Well, I mean, <laughs> I guess there are more people before I came through. Oh. I remember now. That generator area. <clears throat> That's a place I was curious about when I was in Pentenny at Mowers. When I was in Tenpenny Towers, there was this side room. It, yeah, so that's that's what that room is. It connects to this place. My neuron activated. My singular neuron got zapped with electricity. Bang mean game cr meaning game crash. Oh no. I just saw that message. Going out with a bang. Why is this place so green? My eyes, they hurt with green. They're so stinky. Who's been tooting up a storm in here? This place is like noticeably stinky. Like a pig, pig pen levels of noticeable stinkiness. Very hard. Okay. Well, that's just convenient now. TL Won't be a squint stream without <laughs> this discourse. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's a staple of all of his streams. I feel like I got to where I need to go quicker by t t tilking. Tickle. By tickling? T C L tickle. Huh. Moment discourse. Evening. What did what did she do? <laughs> did she hire more hippos? The hippos are here to stay. Good to see you. The hippos stay on. Hello. Okay, who do I... Who's the main... Okay, you're the head honch. So I guess I'll... You're the head honch, Crow. Good to see you. Let's talk to Bessie. Oh, hello. I'm Bessie Lynn. I... I don't think you should be down here. Did you talk to Roy? I hope you know what you're doing. You could get in a lot of trouble by coming around uninvited. Nice to meet you, Bessie. That's a cow name. Uh, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I'm trouble. <laughs> Say nothing. Oh god, that's menacing. Don't worry, I'm not trouble. I wouldn't want to see anyone get hurt. You must be pretty tough to get past all the ferals. They tend to leave us alone, but someone like you. Yes, Bessie is a good cow name. Roy tells me I shouldn't do that. This name is for the cows. <laughs> so what's it like being you? Um, what are you doing in the metro tunnels? Roy is coming up with a plan to get us into that tower. Ten pennies. Says it's only a matter of time. He's strong like that. He never gives up. The kind of guy who makes things happen, Roy is. That's why the other stone face him. back here. Me, I just like the way he looks at me. Makes me feel pretty again. Aww. I'd go anywhere with him. Wow. I like the way some people look at me too. Uh, so tell me, what's it like being a guau? A oh, well, it's not so bad, I guess. Look of Loki the Raven, Once folks. You get used to it. He's a raven that says Gua. It's not like before. Gua. They used to be pretty, you know. Everyone used to come around all the time. People stop wanting to be around you, though. When it starts to happen. When you start to change, I mean. You wouldn't like me when I go ghoul mode? Um. Oh, okay, then. Have a nice one. Hello. What is it? Michael Masters. Oh. What, can I... Is it the exact same dialogue? I've been stomping around with Roy and his gang it's not. of misfits. Roy's a no-nonsense, take-no-prisoners kind of guy. He heard about this tenpenny asshole. Or was this the guy who was up in that on the bridge, I guess? Yeah. Plan to kill all yeah, he was. Okay. Got it. I know. I remember. He actually just walked all the way here, huh? Okay, there's only three people then? I thought there was four. Oh. Okay, what hi. 
beautiful blue eyes, folk, uh, Mr. Roy, Mr. F uh, Michael Phillips, professional swimmer. Uh, what are you doing in the metro tunnels, silly? Biding our time, making plans, getting ready. Tenpenny and his pack of elitist wannabes can't keep us out of that tower forever. We've got rights, and we'll take them if they aren't given to us. Okay. Uh, rights to do what you're going to do later on. Maybe I'll get you in there. Uh, it's Tenpenny's tower. He can do whatever he wants. You're secure in these tunnels. Why try to get into Tenpenny anyway? Ghouls aren't built for luxury and comfort, is that it? <laughs> you think ghouls belong scurrying around <laughs> That's not what I said. I grew up in a life. vault. You got a lot of nerve. What? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I might be able to help you. Sure. I already got a plan. They think I'm a monster? I'll show them the real monsters. Oh. We'll unleash our feral brethren on them. All those bigoted um. sons of bitches will get torn apart. Trouble is I don't know where you'll find them. Damn subway I kind of door. took care of them already. You see this? Some kind of escape door that leads from the Tenpenny basement to the subway tunnels. There must be some way to get that open. Let me try talking to Tenpenny. Maybe he wouldn't mind you living there. Right on, kill the other elites. I think I can help you with that escape door. Whatever, you know better than Tenpenny. Let's let's di di let's diplomatically take them over, which we will. Huh. Those snooty bitches probably can't I have a high with each other, speech check with us. skill. Check. By all means. Try talking to Tenpenny if you like, but it won't work. Then we'll do it my way. You get that escape door in the Tenpenny basement open, and I'll unleash those ferals on him. Oh, okay. Or kill. Uh, no. <laughs> this is like three followers, two followers. He has a low follower count is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I can actually tell him this. Let's talk about Tenpenny. What up? I think I can convince them to let you live there. You think so, do you? Give it a shot, kid. But oh. you're dreaming. I'll wait to give you a shot, but then we're doing it my way. I appreciate that. Get the door open, you can let the hordes in. <laughs> I'm That's such an inappropriate thing to say. Hordes. So tell me, what's it like being a uh, gua? You better choose your next words really carefully, because <laughs> you're starting to it is a off. Yeah, it's a, it's a <laughs> rude thing to say, I feel. You eat people's brains, right? So what's it like being a zombie? I didn't mean to offend. I'm n not prejudice. Sure, whatever you <laughs> say. You pretentious, two-faced asshole. <laughs> you're the prejudice asshole, not me. You're <laughs> so you're ugly. Big deal. <laughs> not really mean it. I don't care if you're a ghoul. I'm gonna say this. This is kind of funny. Maybe I misjudged. Pardons. So yeah, people treat us like shit, but it just makes us stronger. Wow. Otherwise, we ain't no different than anyone else that had the misfortune to live past infancy. <laughs> That's very cute. It's very emo of him to say that. Belt emo. Misfortune to live past infancy. What's the word of tenpenny? Uh, convince. Maybe just I want to see what he says. I I killed a bunch of those ghouls in the metro tunnels. So you killed a bunch of feral ghouls. Is that supposed to sound impressive? I got no compassion left for those mindless freaks. But they were a nice deterrent keeping out smooth-skinned bastards like yourself. <laughs> um I saved. I'm going to try get the door open. Well, get going. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm Squint. Hi, welcome to my stream. Um, I want to check something. Gonna body check something. I just want to see, how do I get the ghoul mask? I just get it at the end of the mission. Okay. reading up on the wiki for a sec. Okay. Cool. Oh, very cool.
You ever notice that the, the opening screen has power armor on it? It's a little gamer fact. Oh, that's a that's a video idea I've considered. Making a uh, like 101 gamer facts about like really obvious things in a video game that aren't impressive, but it's actually 101 of them. <laughs> just just that committed to the joke. Because you see a lot of those videos, or at least I remember seeing a bunch from like I guess Frederator used to do them. <laughs> I'm not mistaken. Okay, it's annoying to get back out of here, so I'm just gonna knock my way out. Number nine, did you know the fat man was based on um, a guy who used to work at Bethesda who was very big? <laughs> Do you know the little M on Mario set is actually a reference to Super Mario Brothers? Exactly. That, that tier. Well, okay, that's fun. Give me a second. Keep your panties on. I would never tell Maple that. Okay. Well, maybe there is. Maybe I would. <laughs> For reasons. Well, we'll move on. <laughs> <laughs> Message held for review. <laughs> I'll show it. <laughs> Why was that message held for review? <laughs> All you did was a face. Hello, hello. I can't stop to chat just now. I can't believe this is his voice. I really didn't remember he has this fucking... You have a curious look about you. I presume you have something interesting to Is he like the me. only one who... The only guy who voices someone in this game? Whoever this voice actor was? He's probably someone else. Can you tell me about the basement? <laughs> what? That area is strictly off limits. Preposterous. Can't people fooling around with the terminal down there. They could shut off power and open the escape door. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well, <laughs> thank you for, you know, just telling me how that works. Uh, there are some ghouls who want to live here. What do you think about that? Why, I do believe you've lost your mind. Ghouls living here? You're serious? <laughs> what if the residents are okay with it? <laughs> I don't suppose I'd mind terribly if ghouls were to live here. Huh. And it would be a good bit of sport hunting them down if they miss oh me. Oh my god, this is... I dare say, though, you'll have a bit of trouble convincing certain residents to go along with your novel proposition. Mm hmm. I Tell feel the same what, way, Maple. If you can convince Mr. and Mrs. Wellington, Mr. Ling, Ms. Montenegro, and Ms. Maple Ms. says this quest line sucks. I always feel there's no good solution. It's true. Have you. Seen it ends so well. I'm quite proficient, if I do say so myself. Oh my god. Rude. Ten penny, pen tennies, pen tenny, temp, pen tenny, pen, pen, pen tenny, pen, pen tenny, pen, pen tenny. <laughs> uh, what was his request? Ten penny will allow the ghouls to move in if I convince certain residents of the tower. Mr. and Mrs. Welling, Beef Wellington, uh, Mr. Ling, Mr. Montenegro. Mr. Uh, Lancaster. Okay. Okay. I, I see why Punk Chef said careful. Don't want to fall off that building. What does? Oh. Hey. Okay. There's Wellington. Edgar Wellington the second. Have you met my wife, Millicent? Maleficent. Hold on. Who let you in here? The fuck? Don't worry. I was let in at the front gate. Yeah. What? Where have you been? 
say nothing. <laughs> Very well. As long as security is aware of your presence. Can't be too careful these days. What with these ghouls and all. Gustavo says he has the situation well in order, but I wonder if he's really trying... How will I convince this guy not to be racist? What, ghouls on your way in here? What's the likelihood that I actually... I've seen a lot of ghouls hit. No. I don't consider ghouls to be a problem, if that's what you're asking. Then you obviously don't know anything about ghouls. Have you ever been to the basement? Why would I ever go that's to the funny. basement? Talk to Gustavo about such nonsense. How do you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? <laughs> You're joking, right? You serious? Of course not. Ghouls can't live here. They're dirty, low. But no, I, I agree. This uh, quest line sucks because I always, I mean, when I played it for the first time, I thought, oh yeah, I did it. I did peacefully and the ghouls now live here. Um, <laughs> And then you go to the basement later on and you get to learn that these guys go to the basement later on too. Mm. <laughs> right, these ghouls, they're civilized and pose no threat. Yep. I'm afraid I can't abide by that. I can't imagine Tenpenny would allow it. But I certainly won't. I mean, wow, perfect, okay. This is happening. You're going to have to deal with it. Or get forced out. This is outrageous! Preposterous! Forced out by a bunch of dirty ghouls and some bleeding heart activist? Where will <laughs> I live? How will I get there? Oh, great. Okay, well, okay, just good luck. I'm sure you'll find something suitable, don't worry. I don't care, get your stuff together and get out of here. Yeah, good luck. Mule, get yours. Up yours. Yes? Woke lo Can I help you? Woke moralists. <laughs> I'm like living in Tenpenny Tower. It's the place to live, the only oh. place one finds any modicum of civilization and breeding. Okay. Of course, it's a good place. Ghouls are trying to move in here. Can you fancy that? Disgusting zombies living in a place like this? <laughs> really now? Come to Ten Penny if you want some good breeding. Um, I have to Farewell. go now. How about you? Introductions Wellington. are in order. I am Mrs. Edgar Wellington. What happened? You may refer to me as Madam or My Lady Wellington. What happened up here? Oh, it's very nice to meet you, my Lady Wellington. You're better mannered than your apparent breeding would indicate. <laughs> it is nice to make your acquaintance. You didn't uh, happen to catch a glimpse of any ghouls on your Yep, I was going to say, it's maple coated. <laughs> That's so maple coated. I'd rather spend time, and she's got pink too. I'd rather spend time with ghouls than some other people I know. Yeah. I do hope you're not referring to me. <laughs> I'm no. certainly a better conversationalist than some stupid ghoul. And I smell better, too. Hey, basement. What do you take me for? Some greasy engineer? All I know is that's where they make the electricity. Some greasy engineer? Why don't you go bother Gustavo? I'm sure he can handle whatever it is you need in the basement. Yes? You wish to speak to me. Whatever for. Schnauzer. How would you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? Dear Lord, are you serious? Ghouls? Living here? With us? That's simply out of the question. You're so right. What the fuck, Riku? <laughs> Your lips look upside down. <laughs> about these ghouls? They're civilized and pose no threat. Wow, I'll just hit them with the same shtick. I think I know a fair share more than some vagrant blown in off the weights. You are can't, simply mistaken. I can't unsee they what you said. They appear nice, but deep down they want to kill. Hold on. It's common knowledge among the educated. You clearly don't know what you're talking about. Let's see how much magic I can work here. I'm surprised I appeared over this. Wait, no. Oh, I, I copied the game audio source. Oops. Delete. Yes. Okay. I am gone for a second. 
properties. No, wrong thing. Uh, shit. Okay, that didn't break it. That's good. Filter. No, that's audio filter. What? Oh, audio. Yeah. Okay. Audi body. Okay. No, it's going to take a while. Raccoon free since today. Oh, no. I'm surprised this is, like, working, but the background one isn't. Oh, you're a whole minute and 44 seconds behind on the stream? What happened? Where, where'd the time go? You were so not live. Why is this so slow? Welcome to the future. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so that I, that's this is a good estimate for knowing where to go. This is like 400, so from the bottom it's gonna be like 500. Yep. <laughs> We're almost there, folks. And then that's about the same from the left. So, whoa, it's like zoomed in for me. Like I know it's like a little, uh, little square for you, but in the in the editor I get to see exactly how. <laughs> I'm like really close up to her lips. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, oh wrong one. Uh, from the top. Okay, good. Okay, then can I? Yes. Oh, that's. Oh, she sways a little bit. Damn it. Okay, hold on. We're almost done. Okay, that's not the worst. So, it's actually really good data. I was able to see how much she swayed to the other side like this. Let's see. She sways a little more. No, no, it's it's this is a a little medium. Okay. I am I am so curious about what this will look like. Okay, good. So, where the fuck is the, uh... Why is this filter, like... Fuck, okay. Oh, no, it's fine. I'm having fun. Copy... Why is this? Oh, this is the. Hmm. Can't paste duplicate. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Okay, whatever. This sucks, but I'd have to... It's fine. It's fine. Um... Hmm. Group? Yeah. Okay, so then filter. Copy. I think I can add a filter to this group. Yes. What? Hmm. I'm just learning about OBS over here. I'm having a good time. Sorry if this is uh, not translating. 
to a good experience. Fiance. Um, filters. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. I think that looks great, everyone. Actually, that's... Oh, yeah. Nope. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, OBS has always been weird with this sort of thing. Um, I have to, like, <laughs> make this gameplay in a separate scene. Uh, can I, can I do that without being awkward? If I... Okay, how about this? Sorry, everyone, let me just... <laughs> yeah, scene two. Hello. Oh, you can still hear me. Good. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hmm. Okay, if I just, uh... No. Game capture. No specific window. All three. Okay. Good. So then I can... Hi, everyone. I'm back. I can... Add a scene. Existing. Okay. And I think I can add a filter to this scene. Uh. Copy. Filters. Paste. Okay. So we get here. Oh my gosh. Well, that's interesting. Why is this not? Hmm. Okay, how about... No. No! Darn, it doesn't let me cheat. Why doesn't it let me cheat? No! Ah. Uh, 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 no. No. I want it all. Give it to me. It, it's not it's not letting me put filters on with with other things on. I'm just trying to make it crop so I can have the mouth upside down, but it's not giving it to me. Just won't. We can't have nice things. Okay, fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It was a good try. Right, team? I think I think we all learned something today. To never try. <laughs> okay. This should work, right? Um. It's not working. Okay. Fuck. Let's delete that. I am back. Keep that. Yeah. Whoa. No, that's that's the wrong thing. Uh Okay. 
Come on, capture Fallout 3. Come on. Why aren't you capturing Fallout 3? Dingus program. Okay. Come on. Come on. What? I'm having issues here, folks. As you can't clearly see. Okay, let me just, uh... Okay, well, you can hear this, so let me, let me just... <laughs> <laughs> Let me just finish this audio and then I can like, uh, you know, quit and then reopen the game and then maybe I'll get captured, but enjoy this 100% speech check of, this is happening, you're gonna have to deal with it, so get, or get forced out. Damn it! This can't be happening! <laughs> Why do you think I came here in the first place? To get away from ghouls, monsters, and scum like you! Now I'll have to start oh. all over again. Where will I go? Oh, I got karma for that. Uh, good luck. Uh, I'm sure you'll find something suitable. Don't worry. I already did. <laughs> podcast time. I hope oh, one never of mind. Your <laughs> buddies kills you. You'll see. <laughs> Fallout podcast style. Fallout let's play through only podcast audio. What? Well, that's that's end goal right there with my streaming career. Hey there. Okay, Wellington's done. Mr. Ling, uh, Monty land my Lancaster where is Mr. Lancaster I haven't I feel like he's someone I haven't seen in ages in Yonks even hello do I have to convince Har convinced do I have to convince Harwood do I have to fist Harwood good to see you good to see you <laughs> hey. oh, this is gonna take a while. Okay, here she is. There's one wow, of them. Hello. This better not be a waste of my time. <laughs> I love that you can talk about the basement with every single one of them. That's so evil. Can you tell me about the basement? What are you talking about? You mean the basement of Tenpenny Tower? What a random question. Why should I know anything about a basement? An LOL Why don't you random run question. Off and find Gustavo. I'm sure he could help you find whatever it is you're looking for. Very original dialogue. Oh, no, 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 no. Miss, uh. This better not be a waste of my time. Uh. How do you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? You're being serious? Hello That's there. Out of the question. Hello, newcomer. What an absurd notion. To the chat. <laughs> uh, I've met this guy. It's the same dialogue over and over. Copy and paste. I, I have not been missing out on much and not doing these missions, have I? I've met the ghouls. They're civilized. Pose I no think threat. You must have been out in the sun too long. Perhaps I could sell you a nice hat to keep your brain from frying. I like having a frying pan on my head. This is happening. You're going to have to deal with it or get forced yout. You horrible little zombie lover. What right do you and your you disgusting zombie humper. buddies have to push honest, hardworking, important people around like that? Where do you propose I Good karma. Okay, well, apparently this is what everyone thinks is the right thing. She'll find some things suitable. Don't worry. Don't worry? Did you just step out of a vault? <laughs> Haven't kind you of. seen what's out there? I'm doomed. And it's all your fault. Yeah. Where will I go? I feel like there's dialogue, dialogue I've been missing which, with all of them. By like, doing that thing first. The whatever thing first. Telling them that they're out. They just like leave on the spot where she... I guess she is. Curious, do people like...
Wow. Okay. Oh. I don't know if I've interacted with him ever. Yes? Hello. I'm off duty. Come back when... Uh, what the hell? Hmm. Let's just get it over with. I'm Dr. Banfield. What do you need? Hey, Doc. Uh, what do you know about the basement area? There's those access tunnels that lead underground. underground. Those are sealed by a door. Then there is some place down there where they keep the generators. Occasionally, something goes wrong down there and we lose power. Then hmm. Burke goes out and finds a technician. Oh, I we haven't name was had Bert. any blackouts in a while. If you want Boy, to get into it. the gen room, you'll need to talk to Gustavo. Though I doubt he'll take you on a tour or let you wander around. Preposterous. How do you feel about uh, Google Gabagools? I'm not sure. My first responsibility is the health and welfare of the residents of Tenpenny Tower. Ghouls often carry diseases due to radiation, damaging their immune systems. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, seem healthy, all things considered. Well, if they don't mind me giving them a thorough exam, oh and my. if they agree to follow any directives I give them regarding health and hygiene, hmm. I suppose I wouldn't mind too terribly. Any at all directives. It'd give me a chance to study ghoul physiology. That's a nice outlook. Would you tell Mr. Tenpenny that you wouldn't mind ghoul neighbors? Sure, no oh, problem. Cool. What's it like living in ten? People are healthy here. They eat well and have a strong roof over their head. They have a strong head and a healthy roof. I'm a little shocked by how healthy everyone looks. <laughs> it's so nice having patients who can pay their medical bills, huh? Sure, whatever you say, Doc, in quotes. Tenpenny is very selective about who he allows to live here. The correct genes and living conditions make for a <laughs> relatively disease-free uh, environment. Clean water is still a concern, of course. But we've got enough chems to keep the radiation sickness at bay. That's why he won't allow those ghouls to live here. Why introduce those a weakness ghouls. into a healthy system? I shoot ghouls first to ask questions later. No. Sure, they look weird, but they're not... Diseased verm, vermine, and verm, Hermione's. Well, um, I guess I must confess, I've never examined a ghoul up close. You're right. I shouldn't make assumptions. I have many things to measure on them. Tell me about Alistair. He's the landlord, although you hardly ever see him. I had to treat him once for bed sores, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, oh, that's a. Don't tell him I said that. That's a drug use reference, I see. Don't get hurt out there. I thought he was actually saying because he, like, lays around so much. Because he doesn't do much. But no, that was, uh... He's shooting up. Primrose. Wynn and Lancaster. Sure, let's get some dialogue. Zap. Yes? Basement. I haven't, but every so often, oh, it's great lighting. Why is her shirt like glowing? Work on the generators when we lose power. That hasn't happened in a while. Sure, though. it's irradiated. Uranium fever. How would you feel about neighbor ghoul? Oh, I know you've been lobbying for those ghouls, and I've already been thinking it over. I guess I would be willing to give it a try. Oh, she's so sweet. I guess so. Sure. It's a so great like being in a place tower. to live. I've always dreamed of giving people fresh meals and a place to relax and enjoy a good conversation or two. Tenpenny gave me a place to do that. I'm greatly indebted to him for that. I really do wish the ghouls ended up being good to the residents here. They, You're able to convince them to be to deal with it, you know, to be like, yeah, we're OK, we're going to work through it. But, you know, work through their differences. But, I mean, maybe the ghouls were in right in the end. Maybe they overstepped, <laughs> maybe the, the residents here, like, overstepped their, weren't as goodwill as they promised to be. Maybe they had a reason to fear and dispose of them, as we definitely will learn. Uh, spoilers. Running a cafe, it can't be easy. Indeed. 
Everyone who lives here has worked hard to get here. That's why we can't just let those ghouls in. They I ruined the right it. I ruined here. it. But what have they done to prove themselves worthy? <laughs> oh my god, that's a terrible first option. I think they've proven something by staying alive in that condition. That's true. I guess I never thought of it that way. It's probably really hard just living day to really day hard. like that. Now I feel a little ashamed. Tell me about Allie. Every day it's the same thing. The man has no <laughs> imagination. <laughs> I do with remember his that meals. dialogue. But it's his building, so every day I make that damned iguano bit sandwich, no salt, with a peeled pear on the side. Peeled Just pear. Send it up to the penthouse. Who can't eat pear skin? That's weak. Don't be a stranger. I guess I don't. Uh, do I enjoy pear skin? It was just so not an issue. It's like apple skin, I feel like, is way more of an issue. Sure, whatever. Have it your way, king. I feel like pear skin is so, like, not an issue. You just, like, sink right through it. Sink your chompers. Arr. Just want to bite into a pear. Chompers. Yes. Very hip up hilled. Hey, Ten my chompers a wonderful place to on live, that pair. Where they belong. Yes. Hi. Hawthorne, are you not one you're not one, okay. Well may I guess whatever. Let's talk. I'm Michael Hawthorne. I'm Who are you. <laughs> and more importantly, should I care? <laughs> I'm your worst. Uh, I'm nobody in particular, but I'm sure you'll find you'll soon come to like me. Oh, fine. We'll have to share a drink sometime. Aww. I'm always in the Federalist Lounge. There's certainly plenty to drink about. <laughs> Federalist Take those Lounge. Ghouls, for example. Oh, what? Not what? Might you me. know anything about dealing with their kind? Do you? You could say I'm an expert when it comes to dealing with ghouls. Really? Fantastic. You can give that Gustavo a lesson or two. Hmm. Don't suppose you know anything about the basement and some tunnels? Tunnels in the basement? No, can't say that I do. Oh. Hold this it. dude is sleeping with what's-her-face. I do remember something about a Says bunch Riku. of escape tunnels in case of disaster or something. Or something about generators for power. You should talk to that old... Generators? Guy. You know, Generator the Rex? famous one with the radio the, show The best show him. out there? You know... What's his name? Daring. What's her face? Daring What's his name? Dashwood, that's him. He's the girl with the upside down lips, that's funny. From top to bottom. Ask him about those tunnels. He'd know. Oh, I should ask Daring about it. That's interesting. Oh, rip Daring, by the way, when it comes to this mission. Unfortunate. How do you feel about Hat? Well, he mm, Daring kind of got, I think, Argyle killed, if I don't if I'm not mistaken. Uh why would you feel how would you feel about having ghoul neighbors? I know you've been talking to the others about the ghouls. And I've been mulling the whole thing over a few cocktails. Yeah, Riku says to, well, he did get more than a few. And I've get decided Argyle killed. I'd be willing to give it a go. Having ghoul neighbors, I mean. Got the whole tribe killed, yeah. The one that he encountered on, on his mission. Uh, What the hell? Sure. Yeah, wow. Getting everyone's thumbs up. What's it like? A penning in a tower. Well... It's a great place to live, if you don't mind ghouls breathing down your neck. Breathing down your neck. Cheers. Today's word is breeding. Next stream's word will also be breeding. That's right, Riku. Yes? You got that right. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Hi. Lancaster. Yay, breeding, says Mabel. Hey there. Is there something I can do for you? Wow, speaking of. <laughs> this is innuendo. <laughs> you ever been in the basement? I hear there's an escape tunnel. Uh, Want to hang out there? Yeah. Supposedly, there's some kind of emergency access to the metro tunnels. It'd have to be a pretty big emergency to get me down there, that's for sure. There's all kinds of gross things that live in those tunnels. Talk to Chief Gustavo if you want to know more. <laughs> I think he's the only one that has a key. 
Oh, okay. So our, I need to talk to Daring and Gustavo. That'd be neat. See what comes of that. How would you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? I know all about your plan to get your ghoul pals in here, and I'm putting a stop to it. You can't just go around pushing us around like that. You know, I've dealt with people like you before. People who think they know what's good for everybody else. I don't think talking about breeding all the time has been me, alienating my audience. I think no it's been ghouls. growing my audience. So you can run along and tell your ghouls they'll just have to find somewhere else to squat. Or better yet, to go off and die somewhere. Jesus Christ. I can get her killed? Oh no. This is happening. You're gonna have to thing your thing. I'm done with the wasteland. I'm breeding you followers. Thank you, Dripples. Else. There isn't anything better than this. You know what's up. Damn you and your ghouls. I appreciate the the contribution to our raccoon pizza party. Known as Dribbles. We breeding the followers? Oh no. <laughs> okay. Every new follower gets <laughs> gets something. Um, I'm sure you'll find something suitable, don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. I'll oh. talk to Tenpenny. I bet I can live in Burke's place. He's never around anyway. Hmm. And when he does come That's back, funny. I'll make sure he's fine with the new arrangement. That's fine. I'll just send up for my food. I'll never even have to look at you or your ghoul buddies. Okay. Whoa. Clothes on. Okay, then. Okay, and then we're just uh, Ling. Love letter. Jerky. I'll read that love letter. <laughs> New followers get bread without the A. That's well done. <laughs> Instead of doing... A book signing. You just <laughs> do a breed signing. Oh no. I'm, I'm gonna. I, I mean, it depends how many followers we. I, it depends how many subs I get. So, like, either be a. <laughs> something to look forward to or something to be very concerned about. Uh, my dear Susan, I can't believe I'm writing this, but I can't help it. I can't hold it in any hold it in any longer. I can't stop thinking about you, even when I'm with M Millicent. All I see is your face. God, you're you're not upside down mouth. God, how can a man be in love with two women at the same time? How can something so wrong feel so right? There must be some way to make this work, to make this work, to make this right. I can't wait to see you. But I don't want it to be like before. It's different now, because I've finally told you. I love you. This is real. This is so real, I can't take it anymore. I need you right now, right now. That was really passionate, dude. He needs to nut. He's ready to mate. Gustavo's guards are swift. Giving subs a whole you new meaning. Me okay, son. look. Back when I was a young adventurer. <laughs> look, okay, apparently my audience is very receptive to this breeding thing. I've gotten like five people in the chat talking about it right now, so. I, I, definitely not alienating. This is working. This is making. This is creating stir <laughs> in the YouTube com community. All the reaction channels are going to be like, this is disgusting, but all my fans are going to be like, when's the convention? Uh, do you know anything about the basement and emergency tunnels? Aha! Uh -huh. So you've been exploring the tower. Well done! Let's just say that Gustavo's not the only one with a key for the generator room. Oh, are you suggesting what I think you're suggesting? Did you want Gustavo to catch you with that? Better let me hold on to it, old man. Well, no. it does get a trifle bit boring around here. And to spice things up, I like to do a little exploring. You horny dog, you. Oh, I always put everything back. Well, almost everything. I occasionally keep a memento, like Gustavo's key to the generator room. Mm. 
Have you noticed how he turns a delightful shade of purple when he's angry? <laughs> well, kid, there are two keys floating around. Which one do you think you can nab without getting caught? That's so cute. Good luck. He suggests you to uh, rob it from him. That's awesome. I want to play games. Can I please borrow the key? <laughs> That's no fun. How do you feel about having a few ghoul neighbors? Well, I wouldn't mind, but they'd better be civilized. Hmm. The tenants here are real ugly, Jeez. and most wouldn't take kindly to ghouls living here. So you wouldn't mind having some civilized ghouls move in? Like I said, it's fine by like me. Like I said. Do you mind telling Mr. Tenpenny that you wouldn't mind ghoul neighbors? Of course. I wonder if they've ever been to Underworld. Oh. Now there's an interesting vacation destination. Yeah. Go make a name for yourself. I'm going to save this for a sec. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. You remind me of my... Bah! I thought you were more interesting than that. Fine. But you better not get caught Aww. with that. I feel, I feel like I disappointed him. I mean, I did. That's, that is what happened. Son of a bitch. I have the highest... Possible skill points. Don't even think about it. I feel like I have an easier time getting it off of Gustavo now that I've done it, failed it this many times. Thank goodness. And you lose karma for it. You love stealing the key off him. Let's see if how he reacts to it. I saved. Get into any adventure. Oh no, he just doesn't. Okay. Go get him. That's cute. Yeah, the dialogue goes away because I stole it off him. So I get, at least the game is aware. This Ling? Hey. It's not Ling. <sighs> don't say it, Squint. Don't don't say the obvious. Don't don't say anything about the name Ling. My friend, Ling Gus. Oh, I gotta find that wife, it's true. We need to find Moaf. No, I do need this. Uh... Mr. Ling. Yes? I've spoken to you already, yeah. Uh, yeah, the other one who's, uh, you're the, the guy who wrote the I love letter. You. Oh. Right on. Right on. Little dude. Yes? It's not even considered stealing for some reason. Hello? Hey. Hey now. Oh, are you this is the room? Oh hello. Wellington. Nah. The second. Dumb. Hope you don't mind. Fuck. And then we already spoke to Miss Wellington. Your scotch back. Cut it out. Cut it out. Careful what you wish for on the doctor's table. That's like a Muppets joke. I can't talk now. I remember you. Hey. <laughs> Okay, bye. Tenpenny Tower is a wonderful place to live, isn't it? Just looking around at his junk. 
Hmm. Hmm. It's got some gravestones he brought up here. Hey! I can't give her the letter. I tried talking to her and it didn't work. She just said, I don't want to talk to you. I guess that mission got... The mission was too late. Lame. I'll, uh... I'll save and just, like, see what it was like. Maybe I can do it. Oh, no. Maybe I can Good do... Oh, you. no. It's already too late anyway, because... Yeah, by this point, it's, um... By me entering, by the point I enter that loading thing, I've already talked to her. Like, outside. Yeah, I, I can't talk right now. I can't I talk now. I can't talk now. I can't talk now. Uh, Maple, it's it's like Hat Dan, if you're still here. Dan Olsen. It, it sounds like that part from that video he did. Now. I don't need that right now. Watch your manners. Hey there! It's this YouTuber we watch. Hat Dan. <laughs> Aw, I'm always here for you, babe. Very sweet, Moopa. <laughs> You're always here to get my Hat Dan reference. I find Ling. The, the Sega Ling. I have not been to this wellness center before. Hello there. I'm quite well, thank you. I think you know where he is. Oh. Not no IV bags for me to pilfer. <laughs> I feel like this in a in a doctor's office though, this pedestal gnome. I could see that being in an actual doctor's office. A good doctor's office. The good doctor's office. Hey. Don't know if I've seen this side. Oh, bathrooms. Who's in there? Who's shooting up? It's my trash. Teehee. What's in here? Oh. I'm just empty out in this room. Terrible choice of words. Terrible. Mm, still keeping the pencil, John Wick style. It is a bathroom, says Riku. It's a living. Damn it. I think this guy got killed. Like, where the where has this person been this whole time? They just don't exist anymore. I'm gonna. I think I want to spawn him again. You better behave. Gustavo's guards are swift to take care of trouble. Go to the top floors. I will in a sec. New urban apparel. I just want to. Hey, check something. I'm curious to see. Fallout 3, new. Oh, he left? Anthony Ling. And then Bessie Lin. When you told him the ghouls are moving in, he bailed. I, I didn't tell him that, I don't think. Let's see. Effects. It says Anthony Ling uh, effects of player's action. Anthony Ling can vanish from Tenpenny Tower if he has been robbed before trying to convince him to leave the uh, with ghouls. 
but after talking to Mr. Tenpenny, he can be noted as convinced and payment can be received. Okay. If forced to have Tenpenny Tower through dialogue, he can be found <laughs> loitering near Megaton's entrance. Oh, I think I do remember seeing that, actually. No, I am talking about the sh shopkeeper. He's also the shopkeeper for this. For this store. So it says owner is possible is Bessie Lynn. Yeah, <laughs> if, this, if the tower... Yeah. Bessie the ghoul that was from before. Okay, well at least Bessie will be a, a shop owner soon. That's nice to think about. I do- I think I do remember him being outside of Megaton. I think I remember, like, randomly coming across someone in Megaton and being like, Wait, what the- what the fuck are you doing here? Okay, I think I- I've persuaded everyone then. Like, unless- <laughs> I, I might have to go to- Unless I have to go to... Megaton to convince him, even though he's outside. Okay, anyway, um, I am curious. I, I made a quick save, so I, I made a save so I can go back, but... Curious to see if he's out here. Welcome to Megaton. Please stand yeah, I remember him being, like, over here. I'm stuck. Oh, no, I am stuck, actually. Oh, my gosh. Okay, there we go. Oh, my mom. Nope. Can't see him. Can't see him. PLZ. Yeah. Oh well. I guess we have this chair here. What nice view. Try Mariarty's oldest drinks. If you have a curious look about you, I presume you have something interesting to tell me. <laughs> the bigots have been taken care of, so ghouls can move in now, right? Well, if my tenants want ghoul neighbors, they can have them. Have the them. Ghouls must pay and follow the rules like everyone else. Uh, okay, true. I'm fine with all that. I just want to talk to Gustavo once before we, um... Hello, hello. I, I can't stop to chat just now. Before we finish the mission. Oh. Direct your security concerns to Chief Gustavo directly. He's probably over here. The front desk. You Hi. take care of those This is a good angle. Yet? You can tell me about the basement. You mean the generator room? What the hell do you need to know about hmm. that for? That area is strictly off limits. I'm just purious. Touchy subject, huh? What's the matter, hiding some kind of big sweekwit? There's no secret. It's just a sensitive area we don't need idiots and assholes screwing around in. There's an <laughs> it's a perfect place to screw to in. Tunnels, you know, for when the bombs fell. We siphon power from the metro grid to keep our generators huh. running. Neat. But I've got better things to do than play tour guide, so unless there's some kind of emergency, this conversation's over. If I promise not to touch anything, will you let me in? Look, I'm not an idiot. I won't break anything. I don't care who you think you are. You're not getting in down there. Hmm. I've got the only key, and I ain't lending it to you. I lost it once Lennon. and had to make a new one. Tenpenny practically hmm. bit my head off, so forget it. Can you tell me about the basement? 
You stay away from the generator room. <laughs> How would you feel about having ghoul neighbors? Hell no. Tenpenny won't allow it. And I take my orders from him. Oh, okay. If Tenpenny will get let ghouls live here. He'd be out of his goddamn mind. But like I said, ultimately I work for him, so whatever he says goes. But I Anything like goes. I met them. Uh, I met them. Roy Phillips and those other ghouls don't seem all that bad. Look, kid. I don't care what you think about Quit them. Wasting my time. Unless Tenpenny says otherwise. They aren't allowed in here. End of story. Quit wasting my time. Okay. It's dark in those tunnels. Shoot first and ask questions. <laughs> I mean, I, I, that is a tactic I tend to take in dark tunnels. I do tend to shoot first and ask questions later. Oh. Squint going a stream without an innuendo challenge. Impossible. Impossible difficulty. So much, so many nice repair. Uh, uh, yeah, so many workbench materials right there. Oh, it's just using the key. Okay. No. Well, we'll do this the right way. Wow. Who knew the right way would look so wrong? You have a curious look about you. I presume you have something interesting I perfume. to tell me. Yep. Well, if my tenants want ghoul neighbors, they can have them. Though the ghoul... You're a... Clever one, aren't you? Clever. I'm glad this situation has been resolved. Is Andy Circus it's voice? It's a bit crass, <laughs> but here's a little something for your trip. Oh, you got some... Wow. Wow. You can have your cigs. Your constant need to chatter is pressing on my optic nerve. Hmm. Pressing on my... Optic gland. <laughs> Octave, octave gland. It, they told me to shoot first, ask questions later, so. Saw a trash can. Followed suit. Followed shoot. Almost there. I could have TCL'd, but we're almost there. Shit. Oh, they're like way deep. They're like, you know, a certain type of deep. Balls. Um. <laughs> Awful. Why don't you Awful streamer. What's the word of tenpenny, kid? Taking care of the I've taken care of things. You can move in now. I'll be damned. Really? Oh bless you, thank you, Triple. Good job, kid. I was willing to unleash the pharaohs and kill all those bigots. Guess I don't have to now. Hmm. Here's a little something for your troubles. It'll help you deal with our pharaoh brethren if you meet any. Wow. I can I tell him again? Oh I'll, I'll have to I have to go now. Get going. Wow. That's the end of that. Nothing else happens, I'm sure. <laughs> hey there, bud. Thanks again for helping us get in here. 
I killed a bunch of the crazy ghouls in the Metro's tunnels. So you killed a bunch of feral ghouls. Is that supposed to sound impressive? I got no compassion left for those mindless freaks. Oh, dang. But they were a nice deterrent keeping out smooth-skinned bastards like yourself. Okay. Get going. Get going. That's TF2 engineer right there. Get going. Oh, hello there. Can't thank you enough. Okay. Be good. Be good. Be gone with you. Not. Hey, kid. I was wrong about you. Good job. Okay. Live it up while it lasts. Oh, is it? Get going. Maybe a lot of them have get going. You might be right. That could be demo. I can imagine it in demo's voice. Okay, sweet. Wow, that's uh, another quest. Felt really accomplished. <laughs> you think they both do it? Well, that's why we need to play TF2 on stream so we can hear who says get going. There's the ghoul mask. That's a, a little treat we get. Oh, I, I unequipped the other thing. Fuck me. That's fine. It happens. Get to see what it looks like, though. This horrible mask. Ugh. What a charmer. It's like a perfect spam go 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 lines and bind kill immediately. Kill bind immediately. It's like a free plus three d uh, DR. I forgot what that's damage rating. So it's kind of like it's kind of a good item to have. But I don't know if I can. Yeah, I can't wear the hockey mask at the same time. So it's it's useless to me. Sorry if I can't wear fifty hockey masks. Might as well not exist in the game. I'm just gonna do this for the next nine hours. It do, yeah, that's what I was gonna say, right? Or, that's what I was gonna say. That sounds so cool. I forgot to mention that, but yes, that that is also right. It makes feral ghouls unaggressive when you wear the ghoul mask. Pretty cool perk. It's like this game's version of how useful the rebreather is in Fallout New Vegas. The rebreather is just like a permanent item you get that gives you permanent uh, damage rating, but also gives you uh, the ability to breathe underwater indefinitely. So both are pretty pretty similar. They're both like a face slot thing that you can keep forever that gives a nice buff. I don't think the gold mask, like the gold mask is very droppable. I don't, I don't think you can, does it stay in your inventory forever? Let's see. Oh, oh no. Ugh. It's awful. Oh, it has it has physics too. Is it do I see like secondary motion on it? I do. I think I see secondary motion on it. There's like there's like a jaw physics for it. scenes things oh yeah no yeah yeah the head is like hinged where the ear is pretty much I go from this yeah see wow it's so rare it's so unlikely that you'll ever encounter this object because you'll never like take it out of your inventory once you get it but they actually coded it to have that other like hinge that's so weird Maybe that's also physics that applies when you, like, blow up and go into third person or whatever. Neat. Okay, time to cock. TTP, time to penis. I think that's the, the form of speedrun where you try building a penis as quick as you can in any type of game. I don't have much use for it now that I, you know, with my hockey mask set up. Wow, though, that's, uh, oof, we're, we're pretty, we're pretty at the end of an era here, aren't we? We are, f like, completely done with all the quests that aren't the main quest. 
we've explored every single nook and cranny of Tom Nook's, you know. Oh, it still thinks I'm in the... It's funny. It's, okay, there, there we are. Because I see OC'd out of there. It still said I was in the location that we last was. The Warrington Station. Yeah, wow. This is the main quest. And these are just DLC quests. Sorry. Sorry. Add-on quests. So sorry. So, uh, we're, wow, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do Into the Pit. We're gonna start it tonight. Probably won't get too far into it, but... It's gonna be a wild ride. Miss my fists. I'm gonna miss my fists going into the pit, because, um... I'm going to actually... I'm going to essentially strip myself nude when I go to the pit. The pit already does that, but just to make sure I don't have any options. I'm gonna put all my stuff away. Because I feel like that's the only way to, like, even the playing field for the most part. My character is very overpowered. Ooh, I get to put that away. Batarang. Oh wow, I had a lot of glue in my pocket. Tasty, tasty glue. It's good to see you alive and well, sir. Oh. Nice. Oh. Cool. That's fine. It's, oh. That's neat like that. Oh god. Yeah, no. Whatever. No one no, I was afraid of that. It's good to see you alive and well, uh. sir. Okay, well I've never seen this perspective from my house. Uh Not bad. Good. Mm, yeah, that's pretty good. Sure, I'll take that. Ooh. Might I suggest you use it, utilize your bed to sleep for an hour? Sorry to interrupt him. No, that was rude. I'm keeping the pencil. I think it's brought me good luck. Plus John Wick. I still keep forgetting to uh, to give myself the perks that I've rightly, Welcome rightfully home, earned. Sir. Is there any like, container I can use to put my stuff in? I think I'll use actually the, the Nuka Cola machine to straw my junk that I use on a regular. Yeah, it's like the only available one that's not like full of other stuff. Okay. I'll just repair this. Stuffing this in my soda machine, don't mind me. <laughs> Those actually do go go in there. I'll put how many I would keep after getting a level in there. Oh, it's pretty close. Uh, I'm looking for four, five, eight, one. It's close as we're gonna get. Yeah, go into my city, pit time. Woo. 
Good. Blow my fingers, of course. Oh. Well. Whoa. Did I just glitch it to give myself extra... No! No! Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't perceive me. Don't think of me. Don't think it. Don't say it. Don't spray it. <laughs> oh, Fallout 3. How to waste time. Getting the thing wrong. The mecha the fucking menu mechanics in Fallout 3. Okay. Like extra carefully now. I have 420 missiles. I was really proud to see that I was level rank 420 in RuneScape the last time I streamed it. I was rank 420 in um, most beginner clue scrolls. Or uh, just the beginner clue scrolls listing. It's 420th on that rank. I now uh, just <laughs> I bob around there. I I'm, I'm around that now. I think I'm like 421. Home, I was 419 for a while, but then I like stopped doing them because I wanted to stay 420 or get to 420. Just to be safe. Fully nude. Let me. Let me cover up my shame at least. raccoon pizza party sure and I'll be a point Dexter okay let's get rid of the t let's get rid of this for now I'm gonna give myself the two perks I think they're two pretty inconsequential quetzalcoatl. Two two pretty non quetzalcoatl perks. Okay, I saved. I saw you perceiving me, Dripples. I'm gonna get paralyzing palm and rad resistance. I'm curious to see see this when I get rad resistance. How this will look. My, my 35 is, my 34 might jump up to, uh, 59, if I'm not mistaken. I think it gives you 25%. So, uh, rad resistance. I think the zeros are unnecessary, but put them there just in case. Got it. Oh, yeah, wow. Holy cow. Holy moo. Okay, and then paralyzing palm. Four four C A A. Like ah ka. Okay, so let's read the perks.
paralyzing palm, you will sometimes perform a, perform a special VATS palm strike that paralyzes your opponent for 30 dang old seconds. Note that in order to perform the paralyzing palm, you must be completely unarmed. Damn. Rad. I mean, I have the, uh, I have, like, r rank three in the, uh, in the, like, punching, the iron fist one. So I have, like, a base damage of 15 on unarmed. It's pretty good. Makes paralyzing palm pretty possible. I have to do vats to do it. Which is the annoying part. I don't know, it would be fun to pull it off sometime. And... Rad. Air resistance. Air resistance allows you to... What else? Resist radiation. This perk grants an additional 25% to radiation resistance. So unradioactive now. Imagine dragons wouldn't touch me. Wow. Point Dexter. Before I put away my caps, I'm gonna sell as much as I can, and maybe I'll pick up some weapon to take along with me, just to... Oh, hi. Here. Thank you. It's impact. Well, she gave me it. I think it's fair to, to hold on to it, right? <laughs> One stim pack. <laughs> Uno mas. One more. A friend with deep pocket. Mm-hmm. Crazy Wolfgang's got just what you need. Assuming you need the random junk that I've got. Wow. Nope, not much I need. Okay. Thanks. Hmm. I've had it. Need some grub. I might go to Moira. Okay, <laughs> I was in the air. Okay. Gonna fool me. Also, I think their bodyguard has died. Don't see them. Try the brass more sparse lantern. than the usual. What happened? Okay, never mind. I guess we're not... I feel like we saw the ghost of a caravan. Welcome to... Sorry, I'm just oh, finishing off my saying. strawberry dreams. Ultra strawberry dreams. Monster energy. Cool. Looking to trade? What do you have? I think you have armor. Have a yeah. look. See if anything calls out to you. Nah. Well. Just curious to see if we'll ever pull the arms dealer again. I think he might be gone. That's Wolfgang. Okay. I'm going to check out Moira for a possible weapon, and then put away my caps, and then start doing more uh, pit stuff. Yay! Look fresh out of the vault. What do you need? Nice. Thought it might be closed still. Okay. Hmm. Hunting rifle. Tempting. Hippo! Himpo. Okay, I'll take the brass knuckles. Thank you for the hippo, Mopa. The hunting rifle just does us so much more damage than the gun the ammo is like made for. The the point thirty two pistol. Ooh, the it, the Chinese pist pistol is kind of fun to use. Okay. 
Brass knuckles, hunting rifle. No, I think I'll just work with those two, and then... 15 shots of the hunting rifle. Good hunting! And I guess I'll get a repair on these. Okay. And well Hey, don't mind This is a little cheap cheap, but fine. Let's do this. Good hunting. Just to be safe. Wow. I'm so like well prepared yet not well prepared. Which how which is how I felt in Dead Money. Which is one of my favorite DLCs and parts of Fallout in general. I really liked Dead Money. Okay. Cool. Oh boy, we're gonna do more. We're gonna do DLC stuff. We're gonna do add-on add stuff. Let's get going. As the demo engineer would say. Oh, that's a lame place to... I'm gonna go back to the place where we were on the start of the mission. The radio tower. Oh. We're good? I'm gonna stay here and prepare. If they already found Thanks, me, Snake they'll Blitzkin. be back again. What do you need me to do? I need you to find a slave outfit so we can sneak you into the pit. I had to ditch mine whenever I ran for it. Oh. I spied on a group of slavers nearby. They're waiting to make a sale to some guys from the pit. Oh, dang. Do whatever you have to do, but get a slave outfit from them. We don't have much time. Tell me about the song of your people. The city's built on the backs of slaves. We're diseased and suffering. What else do you want to know? Is that an accurate description of Pittsburgh, a punk chef? Also, hold on. That money's so neat, but it's a pain to get through for me. Aw, yeah. No, that's that's a very fair assess assessment of it. Who's in the uh, who's in charge of the pit? Also, I feel like the story writing is pretty good in it, though. The uh, the just little inter inter uh, personal relationships you get with these people forced into this situation. Um, but then like, uh, I could just talk about the DLC for Fallout New Vegas. A bunch the the old world blues is just so fun too that one's just like hard not to just have a good time through oh but that one it feels like the writing isn't <laughs> the writing isn't like the most important thing about that it's very cheesy campy writing but that's kind of on purpose who's in charge of the pit he's a guy named dasher i don't know where he came from but he's strong enough that he keeps all the other bosses in line yeah bosses but you think the atmosphere and the story are great in dead money vicious little fucks but they have the guns and the power. Damn. Asher keeps them from killing each other and keeps them forcing us to work. Old World Blues is peak, but it's all very silly fun. Mm -hmm. The room you get with all the, the robots you can talk to, all the appliances you can interact with verbally. Is anyone helping you free the, your people? Medea. Medea. She's another slave like me. She's helping to organize them. She'll know when it's time. Okay. Where do people come from? Some of us are native to the pit. Most of us are, really. Hmm. People sometimes have kids before the sickness takes them. Hmm. But the need for slaves has gotten bigger. Asher started importing them. Oh, Ever shit. wonder why there are so many slavers, but you hardly see any slaves? The slaver operation in this area has been supplying the pit. Wow. Lore. Whatever you say, Joker. Joker. <laughs> Tell me about your people again. What else do you... Nope. Tell me about the pit. What do you want to know about it? How did the city get started? After the war, the place just turns it. into a shithole. I'm a gentleman. The start falling over. The sickness makes people just turn on each other. Shithole, huh? <laughs> change. They lose any sense of who they are. They just go around killing and fucking and eating. Like Whoa. Like animals, man. Mm. Some people are still okay, but Like just, raccoons. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, about 30 years ago, those Brotherhood guys come in and wipe the place out. Oh. They kill all of these sick fucks. Anything that looks like it's gonna fight, bam! Then they take whatever they were looking for and leave. 
uh, tell me about what the Brotherhood died. Well, as bad as the pit is, it used to be worse. It actually Much said worse. did. It was complete chaos. Every man for himself. About the time I was born, those Brotherhood guys swept through the place. Killed anything that put up a fight. More than half the place was dead by the time they were done. It was a slaughter. But they got the worst of the worst. If Lore. it were for the Brotherhood sweep in the place, I doubt if Asher would have been able to get control of as much as he has. Oh, okay. What happened to people who get sick? It's hard they start to start fucking and fucking. It's nasty. And it affects everyone a little differently. But the longer you're there, the more it gets you. Some just get sick and die. Others go crazy, completely psycho. They live out in the city. We call them wild men. Hmm. And the worst, well, just hope you never have to see them. They turn into animals. <gasps> He's they gonna say it again. They, are. they just eat, sleep, fuck, and kill. But this cure. I mean, I'm maybe look. I play. Stop all that. I eat, sleep, Fortnite, and repeat too. Okay, it's it's how things are nowadays. Uh, who lives there? The city is built on the backs of slaves. My people were diseased and suffering. They've restarted the steel mills there. They have us breaking down metal and reforging it. No one knows why. Hmm. But the guy in charge, Ash. Do they use it to make power armor? Well, bet your life that he has a plan. No one, no one spoil it. I'm curious to know though. I wonder what they're doing with that, all that metal. Let's talk about something else. Whatever you say, Joker. We're counting on you. No spoilers, but um, I won't be torn if I learn before we get there. I just just want to see if we can piece it together. If we can see what happened on Hill Manor. If there was indeed a haunting. Beautiful. There's Fort Constantine, the place I just teleported into with the robots. Oh, <laughs> me saying robots reminded me. Um, earlier today, I, I might have gone to a, a certain grocery store I've been known to frequent, and in the parking lot, I saw someone had like um, a, a sticker on their car. It was like a doodled drawing of Zoidberg. I was very tempted to take a picture of it and send it to Maple, <laughs> who has seen a lot of Futurama, and we watched a bunch of Futurama together. I grew up watching tons of Futurama. I was very plugged into the animations on Fox Network back in the day when I was a youngin. Saw a lot of Simpson. And a lot of Futurama. And a lot of American Dad. And Family Guy. And Steven Universe. And Ch Chowder. And... <laughs> okay, lots of unique names here. I was like, <laughs> I'm not collecting junk. I'm going to go to the pit. Stuff won't matter. Why is the toolbox the only thing that's like stealable? Very creative names. <laughs> Wonder what that noise was. I'm glad I'm not getting like negative karma from stealing by stealing from them. Makes sense. Don't know if I've seen much on this side. Oh god, what is it? Oh. Feel so naked. About the shell of invisibility. Oh, you're having a flash flood warning. Oh no. I hope your basement's okay if you got one. It gets pretty flooded over here too. And I have a basement that likes to uh, follow suit. That's right. I found a way to work in follow suit. Phrase of the day. We found it, folks. Hey, are you the guy from the pit? Oh my god, Mr. Voice Actor. Uh, yeah, that's me. I'm here to buy these guys. 
Uh, what are you doing out here? Who, me? No, I'm just... Oh. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's see what we can do here. About damn time you showed up. We've been waiting here for fucking ever. Fucking ever. Whatever, man. You're here now. I just hope you're ready to do business. We got three. Oh, Usual if I had my money on me. Each. Boss says no trade, so cash only. See if I can convince him. Yeah, think about it. It's... What? Are you serious? You'd better hurry back here. I'd like to sell this meat sometime before I'm an old. Damn. Nice little rhythm they got going on. Okay, let me just... I might have just... Don't judge me. An audience judging its streamer? Can't believe it. You know, let's just hold on to one... Oh, wait, um... Hold on to roughly 1k. Yeah. No, you spilled your Dr. Pepper. No, Bunk Chef. Wasted. I'm so sorry. I mourn the loss of your Dr. Pepper and the acquisition of stickiness. Where, where is this guy? Oh, he's probably snoozing. <laughs> you again? What now? <laughs> well, I'll buy them. Yeah? Well, like I said, 200 each. Okay. Finally! Here's the key to the gate. Do whatever you want with him. I couldn't care less. Oh, hey, Eulogy says to tell your man that we're sorry that we could only get three. We'll get a better roundup next time. Pleasure doing business with you. Okay. What do I can do with this key? So can I? I can. It's funny. It's impossible. I gave it my all. Gave it a fair shake. Oh my god! Are you real? You're here to save us? Where are we going? I'm taking you anywhere, but I need your clothes now. You're free now, but I need you your help dressing like uh you. Wait. We're free? You're serious? You just paid money just so you can let us go? Yeah. You're either the kindest person in the world or the dumbest. Either way, thank you. I can help you. It's the well, thank least you. I can do. What is it that the least you I can do? Can you set your clothes? Where can I get some? Look at this guy on the floor. That guy over there on the mattress died last night. I never did get his name. Oh. If you don't mind the smell, what if he has a name? Take his. Thanks, great. Be careful out there. We will. Thank you again, stranger. We owe you our Give me lives. that karma. Yes. Please. 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 I'm glad he has some modesty in death. Please. Pretty please. <laughs> he, why does he sound like Christopher Walken? I know, that's the impression I was getting too. Proving I'm, I'm putty tad pilts today. Please. <laughs> what? Oh. No.
Hey, dude. All right. You got a disguise. Good. Good. We're ready to head out. I'll meet you up by the tunnel that leads to the pit. You go get whatever you'll need for the trip. Ah, where'd you come from? I followed you. I've gotten very good at staying out of sight when I don't want to be seen. Oh, true. Do I have a couple questions? Oh, yeah? What is it? What do you need me to do? Gather what supplies you'll need and meet me at the first tunnel to the pit. You'll never find your way there without me to guide you. Okay. We're counting on you. Get what supplies you need and meet me at the tunnel. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm fully supplied. Yep. Oh, hi. If you're ready, just jump on the cart. I wanted to see if there was two copies of him. Also, this, this imagery here is, is, looks very silly. Tunnel leads off into darkness. What's it say? There's no way to continue forward. Spooky. Jump on the mm -hmm. cart. I'm right behind you. If you're ready, just jump on the cart. The first junction, it'll be a long trip. Let's get going. The first junction is just down this tunnel. Wow. Uh, oh, let's... Got a save going. Hand cart. This tunnel leads to a complicated network of tunnels and old highways that travel far to the northwest to the pit. The going will be rough and harsh. Supplies will be scarce, and you won't be able to return until your business there is concluded. Are you sure you wish to travel to the pit? Tra <coughs> my God, travel to the pit. Yeah. I hammed it up a little bit, but that something happened in my throat. <laughs> oh, Hang beautiful on, so Pittsburgh. Let me do the talking. No going back. Uh, you cannot return to Cap Wasteland until you've concluded your business in the pit. That looks sane. Hello. Train tunnel, the pit. Hey, hey, what are you guys doing here? Coming back to this place, Warner. Yeah? Well, I guess that's the difference between us. I have hmm. a lot of guts. You don't. Oh, ah. shit. Taking her shit. That's the last mistake you'll ever... Wow, they got dunked Man. on. Here come more of them. Watch out. Damn, this guy's good. Couldn't even land a hit. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus, dude. This is personal, huh? Oh, okay. You got him. We've got to keep moving. There's no time. There's no time. Scrounging. Like these are skills that I'm going to need when I'm in the the yard at the pit in the pit. Does my uh does I expose everything perk it does show me all the fast travel points we eventually got whoa I can't get up there is there a body up there yeah there was yes there is 
Neat. Oh, you can even... Aw. I'm gonna try to sleep now. Night all. Aw. Hippo. Have a good night, Dripples. Thanks for hanging. Definitely gotta play some Fallout again, or some RuneScape again. So we can hang out on stream in RuneScape. That'd be fun. Now we have all that junk in our trunk. Yee, I'm down. Nice. Oh yeah, repair that. There's no way that the brass knuckles are better than the spiked ones, right? Sure, there's some trade-off, but at the moment it looks like the spiked ones have more damage. to put on the out saver outfit in a sec. Uh, cool. What? Oops. I miss you. How'd he not miss anyone? Oh. Really? That's that's a profile picture right there. This is as far as I can go. Oh. It's up to you from here on out. If cool. you dress up like a slave, you should be able to get past the gates without a problem. Once you're inside, find a slave named Medea. She'll be able to help you. Remember, your goal is to get access to Asher and find the cure. Thank you, Warner Versa. After you have it, I'll contact you. Uh, you sure I can't sneak a weapon in? Well... You might be able to get hmm. a small gun or a knife past them if you conceal it just right. Cool. I can do that for you, but I can't promise that they won't see it and just gun you down. You want the gun or the knife? I guess the knife, yeah. Okay, here you go. Don't take it out until you get past the gate. You clear on what you need to do? Ooh, concealed switchblade. Cool. Get in, find Medea. Got it. That's it. Good luck. We're counting on you. Salute. Head to the pit. Hey. There isn't much time. Celebratory smoke. Well, these are all. These are all like new types of armor. Got the drip. Nothing suspicious about this slave with a pit boy, is there? I'm sure they'll won't do any uprising. Why does he have a pit boy? Oh, fun. This is what I like about Fallout games. Little nooks and crannies that have loot. Me and my max rad resistance. Needing all that right away. Totally. Trash cans. My type of people. Nothing. I just sense that there was nothing in there. Didn't, need it, didn't even have to open it. Welcome to the pit. <laughs> Welcome to the pit. <laughs> State of independence. Didn't know that was a motto there. Ooh. Oh. Oh, they're wild men. Okay, so they are worth fighting. Oh, cool. Free fingers. Teddy bear. Eat it. 
Bonk. She really had to think about it. Saw her, like, pulling the gun out and putting it back away. Hello? Anyone out there? I'm actually gonna use the healing mechanic now with, him, with so low health, even though I have... I probably have, like, so many stim packs now. Twelve, somehow. I always wanted some of those earlier. Discovered the pit bridge. Just feels just like Left 4 Dead. Oh, hi. Landmines. I like the way how the game uh, does this light foot, light footed. Uh... Oh. Oh, they're all friends because I have the animal perk. The light footed perk that lets uh, that doesn't let landmines get detected. Why am I saying it like that? Oh, it's the... it's Pooches. Oh, rip. That perk, the way the game does it, it's... I think it's silly how, um... It just looks like they've... It looks like it's your landmines. Like... Oh my god, I'm stuttering around. Not just verbally. I like how it's just, like, as if you placed the landmine down instead of, uh... It being the red one anymore. My thing in No Mercy from Left for Dead is based on Pittsburgh as well. Aww. No Mercy, I'm guessing, is that mission where you're on the bridge. That's cool. That's a funny connection. Didn't even realize. Oh, there's... a bunch of landmines on the bridge, too. <laughs> this, is a, this is a long, trapped area. Hold on. <laughs> It's like, oh, you found your way here, huh? You think you're so safe. Here's two, three bear traps and a landmine. Oh, you have a hospital. There's a hospital called. No, it's the hospital one, I see. Got it. Yeah, the hospital here is called Mercy Hospital. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, no mercy. Okay, I thought that sounded more familiar, that no mercy was the one that's the hospital. Also makes sense considering the name. I remember how the, uh, how that poster looks. That's at the start of the level for no mercy. A very fun aesthetic, that Left 4 Dead. That where they have it, like, be like a movie. That, uh, each, each mission is like a little... Like a little movie you, you go through. Left 4 Dead's fun. It's very clever game design. Makes you really feel like you're going against the Horde and the, uh... Oh, there was a fun term for what, the, like... The, the just, it's not dynamic, I mean, essentially it's dynamic difficulty, but... Oh. Ow. What did they call it? The something? They had a term that they would use for, like... They, they like gave the gave the program oh. a name. Oh. The program in Left 4 Dead to the oh. the it's like the Observer, but it's something that's kind of similar sounding. It's the way they would uh, dynamically like make. So when you play Left 4 Dead, there's this really cool thing where, depending on how well you're doing, is how um is how difficult the game is for you. If you're if you're doing pretty well, they'll send more zombies your way. But if you're uh, hurting, they'll send you, like, less zombies. I had a neat little word for it, though, back in the day. That sounded, like, professional. Uh, ow, no, I'm not keybinded. Not keybound. The director, I think it was called, or... There we 
There we go. Oh, no, not yet. There we go. They have the way better weapon. Yeah, they would, uh, but the director would, I'm pretty sure that's the name of it, would actively adjust the uh, difficulty depending on how you did. Which is a pretty, like, neat concept at that point, I would say. Still is. You have to go, you have to program it properly for it to actually be fun. Me being the game design expert that I know, that I am, that we all know I am. Know what I am, but what are you? N not a game designer. I play a video game. An extreme of consciousness for you, the viewer. That's in my channel description that I features streams of consciousness on my streams. Oh. Oh, that will- okay. I went through the ground. That's fine. Survive without one landmine. I'll somehow survive. Can't survive without a moo mine, though. The moo of mine. I do you like these assurance barrels to get you out? It's insurance barrels. Whoop. Okay. Wait, could I? You can get down here? <gasps> Ow. Oh! I didn't notice the radiation. What? Really? That's how hard the radiation is there? That's so funny. I know that. Oh. Oh no. Aw, oh, rip. There's someone in here? Oh. Happened again. Train tunnel? It's a train tunnel? Okay, if you say so. Oh, yes there is. Duh, the one I got here from. What am I... What am I thinking? The way I got here is through a train tunnel. Beautiful background music, lots of just girders. <laughs> really setting the tone. Yoink. Definitely gonna get use out of that. It's teddy bear though, if I can bring it back, I'd love that. Oh, there's a um there's a repeatable quest that's here. Involving teddy bears, actually. I think you can indefinitely gift teddy bears to the, the like baby that's in this area. Hi. Tch. Jesus. I opened the gate. Hi. <laughs> I love it. Another slave wanted back here, huh? Max. What's wrong? Couldn't get over the bridge? You're lucky I don't fucking paste you. Paste you. Why, I should... Wait. What the... Hmm. Now, would you look at this? Where'd you get all this shit anyway? Hmm. Whatever. Mine now. Thanks, Scab. I hit the jackpot today. Hmm. Now get back in there and get the work. Or next time I'll just stake you out there for the drugs. <coughs> okay, so all my stuff is gone. Supposedly it's in there. I've seen this one cheat where... Hmm. 
yes, you can still... You can still fast travel. Oh, no, 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 no. I remember the cheat now. I'm just going to do the cheat for fun. Sorry, guy. You are going to be a, a worthy sacrifice. Just have a fun little moment where we watch this for a hot minute. Here's a fun workaround to get all of your stuff to come with you inside the pit. I'm not going to, I'm actually going to reload and not do this, but I want to show it off for fun. So, if I put this in here. I'll need all those frag mines. You look at this. Now get back in there and get. Yep. And then the gate closes, so you can't get back out. And, uh, yep, so. I think if you were to grab more stuff, it automatically takes it out right now if you were to go through here. But it's a one time thing, so. Here, let me try it. Let me, um. Let me grab, like, this one pistol, per se. So I think if I go through here. Yeah, it, did you hear the unequip or oh you heard the, the equip of the switchblade, but they got rid of the pistol, see? The pistol I picked up is gone. Um but I can still teleport back here. Wait, no, fuck. Oh, I was wrong. Yes, here we go. Okay, so check it out. That's that's the thing, that's neat. So if I turn around like this. I can actually go back out. I think that's it. So I have the switchblade unequi er, equipped. I can pick up all my junk. Switchblade, oh. No. Oh, I messed it up. Hmm. Get in there. I could have sworn I did this correctly. Darn it. That whole time. Okay, well, I did... I, there is a, a, a YouTube video that teaches you how to do it if you're so interested out there. Um, I fucked up. That's the long and short of it. It has something to do with taking a chunk of someone and, you know, bringing it over. Just repair this and then... I'll be ready. Just won't be that long. <laughs> yes, okay, great. Thank you. Cool. Oh, it's even back to low durability. Stuff that's permanently on me. Okay. I'm pretty sure I already turned that in. Weird. Oh, you can actually look through the key ring? I didn't know that. It's been so long. Maybe I just forgot that you could. Clicking on all, all of them. They didn't do anything. Oh, hello. What? You want me to knock your teeth out? Your friends are dead. 
You're next if you don't talk. Huh. You help them escape. I know it. Don't hurt me. do this the easy way. Can't talk now. Don't hurt I'd break you in fucking halfway. Oh, well, they're trying to interrogate them. Oh no. Oh. Unfortunate. It's a terrible, terrible. Anyway. Oops. I want to save. I have two types as repaired as they could be. Let's hold on to the other one for now. Wait, is that. Oh, I thought there were different weights for some reason. Ooh. I know what. Oh, honey, you're pretty banged up there. I can help you out. Jeez, they're say? really torn up. Fix me, please. All right, let's do this fast before the bosses notice. Hmm. Damn, being in the pit really messes with you. Forgot they get leprosy. Oh, honey, you're pretty banged up there. I can. You say so. Just be careful out there. We need everyone help. She only has like one type of dialogue, so the normal thing when you get like uh your health restored, it like brings you back into their dialogue tree. So wow, mine. Be using. I'll be needing that for later. I'll be eating that. Oh, okay. Wow, brass knuckles. Werner nope. sent you, didn't he? Good. He finally found someone. We can't talk out in the open like this. Meet me in my house as soon as you can. We'll talk there. Okay. Nope. Has little like bunkers in the s sides of the buildings. Hi. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, what are you doing? Shouldn't you be working? I am working. You must be new here. I serve the slop to the other slaves. Ooh. You want food? Let me know. The good news is that this crap is nearly unlimited. Oh shit. But it's mostly radiated water and trot yeah. meat anyway. You want some or not? Give me some food. It's your funeral. Here you go. Slop. See how well slop goes down oh that's actually pretty good I think the food is slightly less it's your hey you want some horrible I think the food is slightly I think the food is slightly less oh I have hey, a fist you want some more bandaged fist oh sorry I'm all out like at five just like wadsworth Wow, it's just like Red Dead. Advanced gaming. Oh! Oh no, do you think it's Soylent Maple? I can't believe we actually eat this. That sounds like a Soylent reference. Keep walking, drone. Maple thinks the foo. What? No. Oh, oh geez. Get back to work. Nice. Oh, nice nuka cola. Whoa. Didn't know that was hanging out under there. Magnetized to the nuka cola. Good. Good gravy. Slop. Oh, that was her house. Good, good. Oh, 
Or is there really nothing this way? I know there's like a different path I could take to get to the other side of this fence. Or around like that area. Nope, okay. Rub your dukes. Be a ferret. Start duking. Oh, hi. Slop. All right, we can talk now, but we shouldn't take too long. They saw you come in here, so they'll come looking for you if you take too long. I have a plan for getting if you If the food is made of palace, trog, but then that's definitely people. In the meantime, you're going to have to blend in. Whoa, whoa, slow down. What's going on here? You're right. What can I do so I don't stand out? Oh, look, I mean, yeah. I don't know what you saw on the way in, but the guards don't really take kindly to workers just standing around. Uh. You're going to need to look busy or they'll sniff you out pretty quickly. And if they get too close, you don't look like oh, you belong here. But that's here. all streaming is, looking busy. I think I can do that. Whatever it is, I can handle it. So, what is it? Sounds dangerous. What will it be? What will I be doing? Didn't come here to work. I came here to save you, you all. The reward better be worth all this. <laughs> No, uh, yeah, whatever it is, I can handle it. So, what is it? Outside of the mill, there are a bunch of old steel ingots just lying around. Every so often, the foreman puts out a work order to collect them. It's practically a death sentence, and they never assign it to anyone. They make us pick who's going to do hmm. it. Bastards. Oh, neat. Actually, that doesn't sound very dangerous at all. Let me guess, the area's full of supers. Get a weapon from Marco. Marco? Mark... Mark Tamako? Actually, that doesn't sound very dangerous. Yeah. Well, the area is full of trogs. Oh, what the hell is a, a T-rog? They're what most of us hope we never become. The contamination gets to everyone to some degree. For most people, it's some form of cancer. <laughs> the cat, sometimes maple. Sometimes harmless, sometimes not. For others... Contamination drives them insane. If it doesn't kill them, it changes them. They become animals, deformed and inhuman. Like animals. It's not pretty. They're everywhere and they kill on sight. Mark, uh, Mac DeMarco. There's an inside joke that I have with an old friend of mine that I pronounce, I mistakenly call Mac DeMarco, Mark DeMacco. And so, it was just an inside joke between us, because it's just a silly sounding name that isn't real. <laughs> or maybe someone out there is named Mark DeMacco. I know at least one Mark DeMacco. And uh, they're a cat, so... There's at least one out there now. So where can I get some weapons? Uh, I'm just gonna... Am I just supposed to strangle them with my bare hands? If I meet one? Well, I could always get in some practice. Uh, I think I can handle it. Well, where could I get some weapons? I can't really help you there. Marco. Ask around. Maybe check with Marco in Mark the Mark DeMacco. He's been making some of our tools into weapons. You might even be able to find a gun on one of the dead bosses out in the steel yard. Oh, shit. They... That's neat. What's that? Oh, oh, no. What's oh, God. What's going on in here, Medea? Who is this scam? Um, nothing, uh, nothing, sir. I, I was just telling this new worker about the job. I get nervous. I, I squat when I get nervous. Oh, yeah? So he's the one that's going out to the steel yard, huh? Oh, fuck. Yes, sir. I told him what he needs to do. He, he knows. Ten ingots, as fast as he can. Well, then. I hope you also said goodbye. Nya. <laughs> <laughs> All right, playtime's over. Get to work. Oh. Find us. You look too damn friendly for your own good. Oh, start smoking. Fun. You should be out gathering those ingots. Oh, the guards won't there... put up with a lazy slave. Are there medics underneath that? Tell me about this cure. The cure is the key to healing the sickness around here. Look at us. We've all got it. And the more they force us to work in this mess, the worse it gets. People are going trog faster than ever before. 
The cure hmm. is the first Once you thing go, in Trog. this place that hasn't been infected. Awful. I want to talk about you. What about me? What I like I about you. I born here, I'll probably die here. I've lived my whole life under Asher's boot heel. The only thing that keeps me boot alive heel. is the thought that I might be able to turn the tables someday. Hmm. I'll talk to you about the mitt. The pit. The pits. I was born shortly after the Brotherhood scourge. The bits. As bad as it is now, I can't imagine what it was like before Asher. Some of the stories I heard when I was a little girl about the trogs and the wild men that scare the hell out of you. Wild men do seem to pack are. a punch. Honestly, I don't know how anything survived, let alone how Asher managed to control any of those freaks. Hmm. Sometimes, just sometimes, I think that maybe things are better with him here. Oh, jeez. I want you to tell me about you and your, uh, your purple. We come from oh god, you're turning over. purple. Most were born here, but lately the bosses have been bringing violet, us you're in from violet. all over. Okay. To go now. Get out there before the guards. <laughs> Messing around. What's up? I'm gonna help your people. I need that stew. And the little medics underneath it. Fuck. That's environmental storytelling right there. Didn't talk to that guard guy. Oh, there he is. He's hanging out in his corner right now. I will break you the fucking head. <laughs> Get back to work. What a raspy soul. What's that sound? Well, aren't you a tough one? Looks like I'm going to the yard. My milkshakes. Her moo shakes. Brings the raccoons to the yard. Oh, hi, Aiden. Hey there. Welcome to the family. Like your cracked texture, as if you were stone. Family? Uh, why, why so cheery? I'm not cheery, really. I've just accepted my role here. And you, you're I lacking book once. audio. Read part of it to me. Oh. It said, the master doesn't try to be powerful. He is powerful. An ordinary man keeps reaching for power, and thus never has enough. First fire hydrant in the rebel pile has loot in it. Oh, neat. I'll look it up. I'll look into it. What does it even mean? Um, so you're just happy to be where you are? I'd like to be free. But I'm not. And the harder I cling to that idea, <laughs> like how his animations only have when he talks. I'll be that I'm stuck here. And this work is hard enough without extra misery. Speaking of which, I should get back to it. Hmm. That will. Ow. Ow, that was loud. Really? Oh my god. Fuck. Good call. The mill. To the mill. Oh, I remember this. It's like I distinctly remember. Something here. Normally I'd be being, being very careful, but... I will be. I'm gonna like reload in a sec just to look around, but I'm trying to look for something very specific. I continue. No. Oh. I thought there, there might be still somewhere, but I thought there was a uh, a pit of like molting uh, metal. I was just gonna hurl myself into that for a sec. You like the portal companion cube? Wow. Definitely do not need all this this like repair stuff, construction stuff. This isn't RuneScape. Can I get crushed by one of these? Nah, can't pull up me close enough.
place does not seem very cheery. Oh, hello. Ammo press terminal? Oh my gosh. For operation instructions. Authorized uses only. Oper ammo production. Denied. Whoa. Boosted. Okay. Can't hear you at all. Oh, okay. Well, that's where I need to go. Meaning I still need to look around everywhere else. Bone. Ha. Okay, Harley. Oh. Oh. Uh, injured. Slave. With it, the proper application of medicine, this man's injuries could be lessened enough that he could be put back to work, but not completely cured. Okay. How helpful. The only way to end his suffering would be to end his life. To treat his injuries? I'm sorry. Huh? Thanks for patching up that asshole. He's got at least another week before he drops dead from exhaustion. <laughs> Great. Leave me alone. <sighs> you ain't getting a reward if that's what happens. Get out of my face. Hammer. No scabs need a gate. Back off. Watch yourself. Let's do it. Quick save. Whoa. Maybe that was what I jumped into. Oh, it's boxed off. Well, with the right amount of platforming, anything can be done. No. Oh. Ow. Oh, Marco. Not so loud. The bosses can't see what I'm up to. Over. Mark DeMacco. Oh, yeah? Why should I just... What? Uh, and what are you doing? Making weapons. Oh. Lots of them. There's something coming. <coughs> soon. So, Ooh. I take the crap we find out in the yard, and some of the tools we use, and I make them into stuff we can fight the bosses with. Wow. I need a weapon. Can you help me out? Yeah. Ooh. You're the one Medea told me about. Werner sent you, right? I can help you out. Take this. It's got like it's chubby cheeks. An auto axe. Nice, huh? I make them out of the old car parts the breakers drag in from the city. Cool. Do what you can with it. Just be careful around the bosses. The auto axe looks, looks pretty cool. And you're done. What the? Oh. Hey, not so loud. The bosses can't see what. I'll leave it right. to you then. Sorry, I can't help you. Help me out. Rotary press terminal. Well, I need axe permission or whatever. It's emergency stop. I wonder if it's a bad idea to keep like a weapon in my hands. I feel like it is. Unless I'm in the yard. Steel yard. So Hi. You're the lucky scab gathering I think during this quest, today, the huh? metal ingots weigh nothing, so it's kind of worth getting them all during this. Yep, that's me. Sure, I, yeah. Good to see a little enthusiasm for <laughs> once. Well, follow me. Follow me? You get a reward for like every 10 you get, so. And there's 100 total. Do your duty, huh? Don't you piss off and get that death hmm. sentence. Actually, don't even tell me. Oh, no. I need to save the gnome from this place. Can't stop this raccoon. Aw, oh, a little... A little cow head. Cow skull. Get back to work, Professor. How cute. 
damn sla- I mean workers. See that fell up there? You'll be seeing lots of those. Oh, there's a trog. There he is. I messed up and I lost some of the dialogue, but it's fine. Didn't mean to get caught down there. Try to just stay near him so I can hear him. Oh, hi. Okay. Get out of my face. Steel yard. Alright, well it's time for some fun. I had to memorize every single location. Whoa, he had a bunch of junk. Yeah, so right now. Do they not appear here? There they are. I say they weigh one. Pretty sure that's one total. Nothing to write any, like, last will and testaments on in here. No, no fun little pieces of paper, huh? Okay, well now it's time to... Let's unleash havoc. Oh. This doesn't work in uh, 90 POV, I guess. Oh, that's horrible. Something's broken here. Whoa. Okay, that's fine. We'll just brass knuckles. It's fine. Don't need to freak out. Brother John John, you remember me, don't you, Billy? Can I save him? Billy? Fuck. I could have shot through the gate. Technically green. Help me! Pain. Saved him. Swing. Well, oh, do you leave? I oh, know there he is. Oh. Poor guy. Sorry about your bro. There's one of you two, and he was already pretty gone. Oh. Neat painted robots. Keep him in there for now if he. <laughs> safer. Tim Safer. Whoa. Ow. Stim pack. Should really be like look keeping the list open of like where each thing is, but it's fine. Whoa. Oh. Save often. So many little dots everywhere. Is he? Oh, hi. Let's 
still there. Trying their way, their pathfinding. One of us will find one of not one another. I forget. I'm just gonna make this easier on us, both of us. Oh hi. morning. R.I.P. NPC. How do you normally get up there? Power plant. It's a tougher one. Okay, time to heal up a little. Uh, maybe I'll find some place to rest in the power plant. Try to save this guy. He's right down over here. Um, Might literally be all the way up there. I know this place has a weird geometry. But I'm tempted to find out if he's not just clipping somewhere. Whoa. Oh. Oh, he is. Sorry to spoil that, folks, but he is waiting up there for us. Nice little coffee cup. Someone must have a nice little sit down there. Nice. Ooh. There's a free couple in each of these. Mm. Platforming in Fallout 3. Well, it's gone dry. Oh, never mind. Hoot nanny. Oh. Surviving in the steel yard has taught you something about life in the pit. You will now do extra damage with the signature weapon of the slaves. <clears throat> the auto axe. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Tengu. I guess I can, like, TCL around if I end up missing some ingots by the end. But you probably won't be too hard to find them. With the ability to attack everywhere. Nice. What are we at now? Like, 12? Um... 13. Wow. Place is huge. It's me huge. Okay, I'm gonna have to heal up.
doing it. I think the rare choice to Vats. Poor guy. Gotta be sideways for that. Truck, 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 truck. Damn. This guy does double damage, so nice. Whoa. <laughs> punch, punch. Oh, I got there first. Surprised this hitbox wasn't active. They've got tummies, these guys. Oh, hi. Ooh, steel armor. Gamma shield armor. Really? Does it shield against gamma, though? Nice. Two types. It does. Double checking all the ingots here. If there's any more. Pile of three. The Kyle over Kylo Ren. We are at nineteen. Sorry, harmonicas. Yeah, I'm pretty certain it's only adding. It's only weighs one. Yep, still one. Oh, oh, oh! Ah. Ow! I try that again. Saving. Yeah, it didn't let me jump there. There we go. Whoa. Okay, something seems broken there. I'm not just saying the building. Wow. Amazing. Always and gets in the trash, yes. Always. Just like in real life. Learned it from real life. At least 10. Guess what? I'm coming back with 100. Oh, hi. Oh my god, that hit me. To <laughs> jeez. Unfair. anyone nervous with how much health I have? I think my nerd rage is activating. Okay, let's just be safe now. Fledgling. Understand what's going on here. That flame. Oh.
Oh, I see. Kind of tells it a little better. Oh. Hello, good looking. Okay, fine, I'll do it. Let me go here first. Where are we at now? Ooh, fourth of the way. Isn't that exciting? A whole fourth. Ooh, it's getting pretty late, by the way. Might call it pretty soon. I wonder if I can actually get all these before I call it, though. Where are you at? Where are you head at? Where you had at? Uh, I think that was one of the songs that was also on that CD I mentioned, with a bunch of techno music on it. It's all that goes like where yo had at, where yo, Deo. <laughs> the tally man is on there. Ooh, popping off. Wild man. Rip. Brute. Whoa. Ow. Nice. I was the victor. Whoa. Ho oh, ho. Big jackpot. Okay, I end up with so much weapon, so many weapons at after this trip into the steel yard. To the center of the steel yard. So much geometry. Oh. I know there's the two that were left over on top of the, the train I didn't get. I can see them uh, right there. So hopefully I'll remember them, now that I've committed it to memory. Memory commitment. Slop. Passed right by these. I know this place has a lot of verticality. Jeez. I feel like there's something here. Really? No. Okay. Saving often. Ooh, free. Whoa, that's a lot of junk. Oh, note from Wild Bill. Oh, hi. Sorry, guy. Stop moving around so much. I really wasn't. I really wasn't, guy. Same. Pretty still. Punching your friend. Oh, I... Hell yeah. Free heal. Snoozed it off. Hey, snooze. Snooze old. Oh, God. Oh. Speaking of snoozle, it's getting so late. Ah, uh, oh. Oh. Thanks for the defense.
She's helping out more than being a trouble. Oh my gosh. Epic. That's my turn. No, she's spotting even more. I'll tear your heart out. Wow. <laughs> this is weird. Wow. What's going on? Oh, it's killing time. No. Well, goodbye. No. Oh. 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 That's how it's done, boys. This is gonna be fun. There. No need for TCL this time. And I got a finger. And I got to finger. Terrible. Oh. Mines. Many a mine. Many are the mind. Checking off the checking to see if there is anything in that little nook. Where are we at? Cool. Move. Who would have thunk? What a good use of ammo. No. Well, see you again. I don't know when I'll see you again. Nice. Nope. Oh. I guess you're supposed to platform from all the way over here normally. Just curious to see how it connects. No? Hmm. Hmm. I want to get these two ingots up here, but I want to rightfully know how to get up here. I guess you'd platform, yeah. From up here, you'd jump onto these steel things and then jump off. I guess that makes the most logical sense. Oh, is there- oh my gosh, there's ingots in here? Wow. So close. Didn't even notice. Again. Say before we go in here, whatever happens in here. 
I still need to read that note from Wild Bill. Cool. Oh, turret control. Somewhere. Attention. Receptors. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Let's keep it as is. Why not? Sorry. Got the loot. First time I've used an assault rifle in this game. <laughs> Lots of crippled limbs, damn. That's assault rifles, I guess. Oh. That's what I was looking for. Terminal? What do you got? Regarding new protectrons, regarding recent employees, regarding new shipments. Ooh. Okay, let's uh, hear some shit before. I have to deal with reading. And also, I think I might have to quickly go to the bathroom and get a drink, but there is not much more time in the stream that I have planned here. Plan to end it before like 20 minutes from now. Just uh, informing everyone. Congrats for making it this far, though. Wow. You should get a medal. I actually watched a raccoon pizza party stream. 0% rad. Oh my gosh, just because my rad resistance is so high, some of these things don't even affect me. Wild. Because I'm over like 59%, so that means that anything that was like one radiation probably goes down to zero. I'll be right back. I'm gonna quickly pee and then uh, quickly a uh, drink and then brb. Back with the healthiest thing known to man. A bottle of water. Wow. Whoever thought he would do it. <sighs> Refreshed. Mm. 
Regarding new protectrons. Regarding new protectrons. There have been several complaints in the past couple of weeks regarding the new factory protectrons installed throughout the plant. Some of you feel this is the first step in the long process of phasing out the human aspect of the plant. Please be assured that this is not our intention. The new protectrons are here only to protect you, the workers. Also, please remember to carry your ID with you at all times. The protectrons are programmed to make sure those present in the plant are valid employees' management. Regarding recent employees, those employees who recently took it upon themselves to incapacitate a protectron with a bucket of water and a sledgehammer have been dealt with and no longer work at the plant. Let this be a reminder to all employees that was caught harassing and or damaging the factory pr protectrons will be dealt with swiftly and severely. Management. Regarding new shipment. Receiving data. We have ordered three new protectrons to be installed immediately in the plant. One will take the place of the recent protectron that was destroyed by our very own employees, who, let me remind you, are now ex-employees. The two will take their positions working on the assembly line. Ama amazing storytelling. Wow. Okay, so we need a, an ID if we want to be not zapped. If that's an option. Love it. Love it, need it, gotta have it. Someone went to Baskin Robbins. No, that's a uh, Cold Stone. Went to Cold Stone, got some mixins. Beer. It's so easy to damage each of these things' limbs. <laughs> Can you get out of there if you get locked in? Wait a minute. Okay, I thought you'd get soft locked in there. That'd be so funny. I didn't press anything, it just automatically opened again. So it's just a safety measure, I guess. Buyer. 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 Market, market buyer. I think buyer is how you pronounce beer in German. Oh, blue card. Is that the... It's probably the thing that's, uh... Blue pass card, okay. I thought that's the thing for, like, the metro stations. Who's launching? Who's munching up there? Nice. Oh, wow. That's a lot of junk. Just like in Maple's trunk. Classic Maple moment. Whoa, a lot of bobby pins. People really want to get in. Damn. Or out. One of the two. Oh. Oh, smokes. Someone had a party in here. Probably wrote their last will and testament. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. There's that cigarette that flew across the room. I need it. See it under there.
Wow. That was loaded. I think I'm going to drop all the turpentine, by the way. And a lot of the junk. Filled up this room with it. Ooh. 55. We're getting there. <laughs> we can have more fun with that, with this, though. Really just fill up the room with it. Yes, the junk room. Oh, Wild Bill's sidearm. Let's read up, read up about him. Not from Wild Bill. <coughs> Starts with a cough. I'm not gonna make it, Millie. I'm sorry. I knew everyone thought I could do with it, but I don't know where's out here. It's not just drugs, it's others. The Wild Man. Kind of funny, considering my nickname's Wild Bill back in the... at the mill. That's good rhyme. Find the ingots wasn't the hard part. They're everywhere. The problem was taking them... was trying to make my way back to the mill. My trusty sidearm came in handy more than just... more than once. But I soon found myself in more trouble than I could handle. The gunfire alerted the wild men, and I assumed they... it's only a matter of time before they find me. I'm sorry for letting everyone down at the mill. Everyone, let everyone know I tried my hardest. Bye. Ellipses, bye. Alright, Wild Bill, we'll use your gun in your honor. No. Fill that room with junk in your honor. I'll put a, I'll throw the beers somewhere in the end. Definitely don't need them all. Whoa. Man opener. It's a unique auto axe. Let's follow that. Rip wild man. Oh, got some jet. Dog meat. Flamer. Oh, switch. Jet. I wonder what the switch does. Whoa. You're always just a quick scavenge away from having an inventory full of useful stuff. Oh, hi. Did the quick flick. So that's like pro protective layer of beer. Medics. Oh god. That's what it would have done. Oh, that's funny. Oh, I missed an ingot. Awesome. Oh, I'm kind of tempted to rewind. Oh, but I, I probably didn't quick save close enough. I want to see if I can hit it with a baseball bat. One of those balls. Oh well. 
sure I could test that some other day if I really care to. Finding a file. Load file near. Close enough to this. Whoa, what's going on here? Oh, same thing. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Oh. My handiwork. Yeah, it looks like everything. Neat. Was there another exit in there? I don't think there was. There might have been. That's okay. That's okay. Go back to that bed I found. Then working my way all around. Quick save in the floor. Where were we? Oh, yeah. Right here. Where are we on ingots? Ooh, 56. Oh, but I don't think we're going to make it in time, folks. There's seven minutes left in my recording capabilities, and also, just, yeah, it's, it's getting so dang late. I think we might end it in, like, two or three minutes here. Let's have a little bit more fun. Aw, oh, please, Quint. Oh. Ironic, because my... Ironic is the might be the wrong word, but my earbuds are low on power right now, actually. Does this work? Yay, this one does. Oh, hi. Come on, boy. Jesus. Yeah. Can't dodge with this. Rip. Whoa. Really does mess with their. <laughs> that really does like add physics in the direction of the blade. I saw her body like spin. Damn. Whoa bleak looking place. Something's wrong with my legs. Been having weird glitches with movement. Okay, well apparently my earbuds get around six hours of playtime. Oh. Frag grenades. Nice. About 40 ingots left. Look at these booba water tanks. Booba tanks, very nice. Very appreciated. Oh, but I don't want to finish yet. I'm gonna really, like, make this last till the last second, pretty much. Soon will be the arduous task of finding out where we went wrong. It's funny, but the ones with the uh, melee are like the best at equip, best equipped to, to combat me. I don't expect melee to be the best way to combat this, but let me just quickly before it happens switch earbuds.
So we want to keep in one in. Switch to the other one that has full charge. Oh no, I'm getting that glitch. You know, that audio glitch where I can't hear anything on my end. It's more like... It's more like the, uh, the sound effects go away. Ouch. We have like three minutes left. Oh, we get a little arena action. Oh, it's not working again. Oops. Well, there goes me trying. Me attempting. And failing. One. Ow. It's painful. Oh, it's a turret, of course. Is bad. I might just go to that, just have that save spot and just call it a night. At the save spot. Hmm. What do we have with weapons? Hunting rifle. We have for weapons. Damn it, that's not gonna work. That's this is not gonna work. Oops. Give a little bit. Okay, I'm going to start dropping this junk. I don't really need the Merc stuff. Ouch, 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 ouch. Yes, yeah, come to me. Okay. Whatever you say. Ouch. Oh, I think that's the last thing. And it's okay. How about this? Just noticed it. Happiness. Funny. Uh indicated. I knew it was the only one that didn't end with S. Okay, everyone. Well, this has been a very fun stream. I had a great time hanging out with you all. Uh Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to really abruptly edit here, because I want to make sure the thing saves properly. So 